Hello there, guys, gals, non-binary pals. How y'all doing on this nice, chill, relaxing Saturday morning, afternoon, evening, nighttime, no matter what time of day it is. I hope y'all are having a nice, chill one at that. Me, myself, I gotta admit, I'm not feeling the best today. Like, after stream last night, my throat was feeling really rough, and I just thought it was, like, maybe a case of just, you know, I'd spoken a lot during the day, so it was just feeling a bit rough because of that. But I think I might be coming down with something. Y y you know, like, when you're getting a cold, and you can kind of, like, feel it at the back of your throat to begin with, before you actually, like, really start feeling it? I've kind of got that sort of feeling right now. It it's the sort of feeling where your th back of your throat's just kind of a little bit dry. I I've been feeling that all of last night and this morning as well, so hopefully it goes away, but... It's been a, feeling a little bit rough, but not too rough, though. I, if I do get sick, I do get sick. It's just kind of how things go around here. But other than that, it's been a pretty chill morning for me. I've I've been mainly in the sewers. I, I know, like, the last three intros of my stream have been in the sewers. I'm in the sewers a lot lately. The thing is, with moonshining, is you've got to be in the sewers. That That's a very, very big part of it. The, the biggest bottleneck when it comes to the moonshine is definitely the ingredients and I'm getting all the ingredients myself so I have to spend a lot of time down here which is fine I, I kind of like how chill it is down here it, it, it does show me though just how empty the sewers are these days like genuinely I've been down here for maybe like two three hours I have not seen a single soul <laughs> the sewers are like completely empty these days which is understandable if not many people are really doing the moonshine much anymore so, that's kind of what my morning's been. I've been watching the Fallout TV show, and I've been rummaging around in the sewers. It's re I've really been enjoying the Fallout TV show, too. I was a little bit iffy to begin with, but it's really started to pick up, like, midway through. Haven't finished it just yet, so no spoilers. And also, I'm not going to say any spoilers in case people want to watch it as well. But yeah, pretty chill Saturday for me. And I hope y'all are having a lovely chill Saturday as well. Today... I want to make some real progress in the moonshine. We made a little bit of progress yesterday, but it very much was just like a dent in the whole thing. And what it's kind of shown me is I need to streamline this process a bit more. So that's something I kind of want to see what we can do today is see if we can maybe work on making the process just a little bit more streamlined rather than all over the place. Because at the moment, the house is like full of moonshine all over, like in multiple different storages. So what I want to do is if i can i'm gonna try and get another storage today try and get like another moonshine storage and then try and like get a proper organizational system between the two boxes so it's not all just like mixed up in one the idea being like the top box would be polito and grapeseed then the bottom box would be sandy and harmony that's the idea that i'm kind of thinking i also did have a little bit of a theory based on the selling that we did yesterday is you know like how i was saying like there can't possibly be that many doors to sell the moonshine when there's like you know 30 to 40 different slots that the moonshine is taken up my theory at the moment is they only stack if they sell for the same amount rather than if they're in the exact same well it's two requirements they need to be in the exact same location and they need to sell for the same amount because the amount that it sells for is random like it's anywhere between 125 and 135 so what I'm thinking is there is other ones in there other than the stack ones that are at the same door. It's just that they sell for the different price, if that makes sense. I'm not too sure if I just made too much sense. But I think that's the reason why our storage is getting so filled up without there being that much stacking. Because there can't possibly be like 50 plus different locations to drop off the moonshine. I feel like I haven't seen that personally. So... I want to see what we can do about that. I think that's going to come down again to the organization, like getting everything organized with the moonshine. And just in general, the more organized we are, the better it is. The more streamlined the process, the better it is. And hopefully we don't get caught by the police. But if we do, we do. I just need to get that band-aid ripped off. Maybe that'll happen when we have that clown pass day. Maybe that'll be the day that Max finally goes to jail. And then I can be more carefree. It's just got to get that one felony. As soon as I get that first felony, it is smooth sailing from there. No more worrying or anything, because that point is already done. At that point, I can just be a lot more carefree and a lot less tense when doing this stuff. And at that point, we can go wild. But yeah, 
So that's kind of the plan today. I want to see what we can do in terms of making more progress with it. Because at the moment, we are doing good on the production side of it. Like the production side is pretty decent. I've got enough supplies to do about two full cooks. <coughs> Sorry. Two full cooks right now, which is roughly about $8,000 if we sell it all. It is just the selling process that we need to make some improvements on, which I'm sure that we can do. W with enough time, I'm sure that we will get there. It's just... We're still in the infancy of this. We only really uh, just begun with the moonshine. When you get your perfect recipe, that's really when you begin with the moonshining. So I want to see what we can do in terms of that. I want to make a really streamlined process. I also got to work on a process for the house in general in terms of the money storage because you've got multiple people in the house right now making dirty cash. Like, you know, I make dirty cash with the moonshine. Timothy makes dirty cash through the weed selling and Ray makes dirty cash through the weed selling as well. So I want to see if maybe I can make an efficient spreadsheet because, you know, I love me some efficient spreadsheets where we can just keep track of how much each person's owed. Hopefully that'll be something that'll be useful because I'm sure over time more people in the house are going to need to clean cash too. I just, you know, we've got to make our way through Timothy's load of cash first, which we are making decent progress on. We're slowly but surely getting through all of Timothy's dirty cash. It's just slowly is the key word there. <laughs> We're slowly but surely making our way through it. More washing machines would be good, but I don't think anyone wants to spend any more money on it. F from here on out for Max, most of Max's money is going to be invested in moonshine. Like getting the moonshine system all efficient. That's what part of it's going to be spent on. And then the rest of it is just going to be saving up. Probably going to be saving up for a house in Grapeseed potentially. And also with the fun house as well. If the fun house does need some money, like generated to get it up and running i'd love to at least contribute a little bit i do love what the clowns do with the grape seed area in general and i want to see what we can do to help out with that and who knows i i i, I can see the clown battle pass stuff leading us to being a little bit close to the clowns in general like you know probably i i don't really foresee max like fully joining the clowns anytime soon i see him more kind of just being an associate and then, you know, where that leads to is where that leads to. Who knows where the RP goes? But I think to begin with, just being a associate to the clowns with the initial part of it being the whole battle pass that's going on would be good. But yeah, so that's the plans for today. Moonshine. We got to make the moonshine system a lot more efficient and probably do some coffee shop stuff too, just because I enjoy doing the coffee shop stuff. It it's very chill. It's very relaxing. And sometimes I just kind of need that. Just a nice, chill Saturday. But most likely what will happen is after Storm... Here's the game plan. After Storm, we head up to the moonshine spot, get a cook going, head back down to the city, open up the coffee shop for a bit, do our delivery, make money that way. Then that'll probably lead us into the cook being done. Once that cook's done, we'll go get another cook on, get all the moonshine organized by you know, going to the guy, transferring the stuff to the delivery things, head back to the house, move it into the storage. And then if we have time, go back to the coffee shop for a bit. Then we go finish the last cook and get into selling. And then we see where the selling stuff goes. That's kind of like the general game plan that I have for today. We'll see where things go though. Might see if we can hang out with some people as well. Because, you know, it is nice to hang out with people. It's just finding people to hang out with outside of G6 isn't the easiest of things sometimes. Grime is very lonely. I have been doing a little bit of grime off stream as well. Basically, basically all of last night I was doing grime with Timothy, which is fine. I need the money on Max and Timothy needs the money too. Like the occasional grime I'm fine with is just definitely not a main thing for me, grime. Grime is more just a passive thing to do off stream more than like an active thing for Max to do. The active thing for Max to do right now is definitely the moonshine and the coffee shop. Those are the two active things for Max right now. And we'll see what that all leads into. I really do hope it leads into some more stuff to do. Now that's what I'm ultimately what I'm trying to find with Max is just kind of like find his thing to do, find his like area of expertise per se. And hopefully we can bring more people into it too. But I still like the idea that either the clowns or Eli helping us with the selling. Like, you know, Max focuses more on the production side of things because that is kind of where he shines. And then we give the moonshine over to Eli because he needs money. And then, you know, we end up splitting the money 50-50, which I think would be fair. I get 50% for gathering the materials and the cooking and he gets 50% for taking the risk. I think that'd be more than fair sort of split to do it with. 
especially if we do get the operation fully up and running because we are going to be generating a lot a lot a lot of moonshine hopefully that, that's the idea anyway i've also been thinking about maybe moving the moonshine location too because grape seed's good but i don't know i, I feel like it's too out of the way a, a little bit it'd be kind of nice to have that little bit of extra risk because one thing i've kind of noticed on max over the last couple months is the one thing that max is kind of lacking right now is spice he needs a bit more spice in his life so i've been thinking about maybe moving the moonshine location to a bit more of a riskier location because that just might lead to some more interesting things sometimes max plays things just a little bit too safe but what you need in rp is spice conflict and spice is the like base point of all rp at least in my opinion also i do believe storm is rolling in now hold on is storm rolling in i think storm's rolling in let me check my pockets yep storm is rolling in let us fa quit Boop. sorry i was yapping just a little bit there it's fine i got all the supplies that i needed down in the sewers anyway they say clowns are the spice of life yeah i mean it definitely will be fun hanging out with the clowns the clowns are like just pure spice i think we could definitely have some fun with them but i mean it's just max in general max in general doesn't really like generate spice for the most part he's a very low-key chill sort of character and it's very rare for those sort of characters to kind of like get themselves in trouble or get themselves into any sort of spice it's just kind of how i've set up max it's one of those things like i would like it if i could get max into more conflict but the way that i've built up the character over the last couple of years like and generally it has been years i've been playing max is that he wouldn't exactly cause the conflict himself at that point he'd feel too out of character and i'm very much a believer of like sticking to the character even if i want spice myself I want to do what the character would do because ultimately i'm playing a character i'm not playing myself i don't really know how to generate spice with sticking to max as the character that he is it's a bit of a difficult thing it, but that is the way that i've built up max is it, he's very much an avoidance of conflict he's someone that like thinks through every possibility and takes the safest route no matter what it's just how he is as a character but who knows how that might change in the future just gotta see how things go i really do hope the moonshine stuff leads into a bit more spice but i do want to build like an, a proper like efficient system up there like getting a pure efficient moonshine system could be really good it could be a good way to generate money and a good way just to get like things going also i'm just gonna take a sip ah feeling very cotton mouth at the moment i definitely do think i'm coming down with something hopefully should be okay for the rest of the stream though definitely probably will rest a little bit tomorrow though rest up the voice rest up the throne i really do hope I'm not coming down with something i would hope that the cold season was behind me at this point i mean it's starting to get very warm here in the uk i'd really hope that the cold was behind me max out and working with the guild yet see max would like to work with the guild and like you know be closer with the guild the issue is i don't see him being a weed seller like weed selling just again it feels too out of character for max to do like max isn't going to be someone that's going to be pushing on the street and then like stabbing shooting locals when they pull out on him you know when they they start getting aggressive he's the sort of person to run away from that sort of thing so as much as i would love to help them out with that moonshine in general just kind of feels more up his alley but he would love to work with the guild he does like the guild the thing is max has multiple offers from multiple groups to work with them like i said i got an offer from the company to help them sell their weed got the guild they offered to help they offered max to help them sell weed there's also the whole um thing that rod and mayumi are starting as well with lottie and queenie and ember that's something i've given a soft yes on i, I told you guys about that right about the whole group that rod and mayumi are going to be starting up basically they're gonna be stung up a heist group it's not like a gang in any sort of sense it's more of a like group that they you know, do heists with for the most part i personally think that heist crews never remain as heist crews they always become gangs like this i can't think of any heist crews in the city that even if they do consider themselves heist crews aren't treated like gangs like lean boys that was a heist crew right but most people in the city treat them like a gang 
It doesn't matter what you define yourself as. It's up to the city to decide what you are. And then they'll push you accordingly. I said, what if, um, you know, someone goes after Hazel? Will they then go after the rest of the group as well? Because they'll perceive him as being in a gang and that being his gang. Yeah, I've given them a soft yes at the moment because they're not going to be starting anytime soon because pretty much everyone inside that group is a G6 worker right now. The only person that isn't a G6 worker in that group is Rod because Mayumi, September, Lottie, Queenie, Twinkles, Hazel, they're all active G6 workers and I don't see any of them quitting G6 within like the next two months. They're very, very much going to keep doing that for the most part. I don't see them quitting that anytime soon. So that group probably won't get like fully operational, at least in, t in a way that Max can help out for a good little bit. So, so far, I've just given them a soft yes while Max kind of sorts things out himself. I see Max working with the, the clowns gang, do violent stuff. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to help out the clowns. It'd be interesting to see what sort of dynamic Max has with the clowns when we do hang out with them. Because Max isn't exactly too, too wacky. So definitely a different sort of vibe. So Reyes has some really funny clips. I like that Ray talk that we had yesterday. I thought it was a good one. I, I hope that Max gave some decent advice. He does try his best. As someone that has never been in a relationship in the city, Max does give some decent relationship advice. Relatively decent, at least. He is a little bit of an enabler as well. He isn't just going to call his best friend a psychopath for stabbing people. He's just not going to do that. He's going to enable his, enable his girl. Like, the thing is, you got to, like, compare it to real life in a way. Like, you got to remember, at the end of the day, this is, like, a wacky idea of real life. Like, obviously, in real life, someone stabbing their friends as a sign of affection, yeah, that's super crazy, and they, you know, that is definitely not okay. In GTA, the game world, it's a little bit different. Like, you, that can be a sign of affection. Because it is on the other person to, like, take it seriously. And if they don't take it seriously, then it's all good. It's one of those things where it's the difference between GTA RP and real life. Like, GTA RP will never be, like, a 100% replication of real life. If it was, it'd be boring. You've got to, like, lean into the cartoony aspect of it. And Max is always going to support his Goral. In all of her violent, stabbing, hammering activities. One day I will be able to find her a hammer again. Classy the Clown. I think Classy the Clown's a good name. Classy the Clown, the advisor to the queen. The only queen that Max respects. Hashtag down with the monarchy. Yeah, we'll see where that all goes. I don't know when we're going to be starting the Clown Battle Pass. I, I think the Clowns are kind of um, already a little bit busy as is. So it'll probably be once they're dealt with the Bomb One situation. I think once that stuff has maybe calmed down, we'll probably go into that. So I'm going to just take another sip. We'll be taking a lot of the sips today. Like I said, my throat is feeling a bit rough. We'll see how things go on though. Yeah, they've got the whole mime stuff going on, too. Like, the clowns have a lot going on for them. They've got a lot of different storylines. So, the classy the clown thing will probably become a, bit, a little bit later when things have probably calmed down. Because that sort of stuff does take priority. The Battle Pass stuff will just be a fun day. I, I see that being maybe like a day or two sort of thing. Won't be something too, too long. And then what comes out of it will what comes out of it. Yeah, the Chatty and Ray relationship seems a lot of fun. Both RPs seem to be having a good time with it, and that's the main thing. Relationship RP can be a very difficult thing. Especially when it comes to streaming as well. It becomes, very, it becomes like an extra layer of difficulty. But they both seem to be playing it pretty well and having a good time. And that's ultimately what matters the most, as long as the RP is having a good time. All right, loading in. There we go. Can I spawn in the sewers or do I wake up in the house? Let's see. Where's my last location? Am I in the sewers? This ain't the sewers. 
Oh, I guess it didn't save the last location because that didn't F8 quit in time. Eh, oh well. Little bit of fast travel there, that's fine. Nothing too bad. Let's go see, how's the money laundry machines going? How's this all doing in here? So Timothy is now down to 56,000. That's some good progress right there. How much have we got in here? Oh, let's top that up real quick. Actually, hold on. Let me depot some of the materials first. Then we'll sort that. I'm better by him than the clown. Eh. Max wouldn't do that to Ray. Boom. There we go. Makes more sense for him to be more clown than mine. Boom. That said, he, he, that isn't like me saying that he's definitely going to be a clown. He's definitely probably going to be more of an associate than an actual clown. Just because that kind of what, it seems to be what makes the most sense. At least for now. There we go. That's all good. Let's see if we can get this all restocked real quick. Just little chores to start the day. Then we'll head up to the moonshine area. Oh, also, I forgot to tell you guys, I got a new car. Max now has a new car to drive around, which I'm going to go get now. I ended up buying the Phoenix last night from the grime runs that me and Timothy did. So let's take this out. We made roughly about, like, I think 16,000 last night with the grime runs. Like, it is genuinely... It is so much money, grime. It is just so much money, but it is so soul draining sometimes. So, 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 so great. So, eh. So, so draining. There we go. That's the right thing. We don't use the old washing machines anymore. We do. It's just a different system. Like, we are still using those washing machines. It's just they're all connected to that one spot. Those laundry baskets. That's, that's just how it all works now. Let's see how we're looking. Any new fishing? Damn, it's still no new fishing. We were thinking just five months ago you were the mayor. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely interesting. The mayor time was an interesting time. The thing is, I was mayor when the server was going into 4.0, so I wasn't exactly able to do anything. At least nothing really interesting. I was more of a passive mayor than an active mayor. But it's still something on Max's resume. And it did end interestingly as well. The ending has definitely played into Max's story a bit. You know, going to jail and everything. Kind of a uh, honing his hatred for the state. Which has only become worse in 4.0 with the whole, you know, liquid library situation. Technically, in 4.0, the, the state has taken away Max's home. Because the liquid library was Max's home. All good, all good, yep, all good. Not going to get hit by anything. And the state just took it away from him. One day, he will reclaim his home. One day. I still hope at some point we're able to get the secret locks working too. Those secret rooms are so goddamn cool and we never really got to use them. Especially the gun room. The gun room was so underutilized, but it was such a beautiful room. I think if I had access to those secret rooms now, it would basically be Max's secret rooms. Because I don't think Sis is ever going to come back. I think uh, James is just kind of done with Sis for now. So theoretically, the building would be Max's. Theoretically, I, obviously you have to wait and see for that if that does eventually happen But that means Max can show whoever he wants those secret rooms and he'd definitely show his girls I'd love to share that room with them just so they can see what it looks like And see what Max's life was like before 4.0 Because Max has always been a little bit criminally inclined before 4.0 as I said he was doing moonshine Like moonshine was an exclusive mechanic in 3.0 and I was the person that had exclusive access to it. There we go. This is the new car, by the way. I did a little bit of customization on it as well. Eh. This is our Phoenix. I try to get the colors matching best I could to the other car. The gold, I think, looks a little bit off. But I think it's just because of, like, the different sort of car. I, I think it just has a different sort of effect. Like, this is also meant to be matte black. And I'm not too sure if it is. It looks too shiny for matte. But that could just be the lighting. The lighting is all over the place. Mm 
one thing I'm probably going to do as well is probably look to try and get a turbo today on it. I don't know what turbo though. Because the speed isn't the best and I want to see what a turbo would do to him. Yeah, this happened off stream yesterday. It, like I said, I did a lot of grind runs with Timothy off stream yesterday. And that kind of led into this. I thought I may as well purchase it off stream because, you know, delivery time. But then it was delivered basically instantly. There we go. Name for a new car. Well, think, since the name is Phoenix, I was thinking of calling it Phoebe. Phoebe the Phoenix. It is a very loud car too, I will say. It's got a little bit of a growl. Anyway, let's make our way up to Grapeseed. Yeah, I think I might need to mess around the colors a bit more because this definitely isn't matte black. I'm pretty sure this is not matte black. This is way too shiny for matte, like compared to the other car at least. And... Drift! Nice. I'm still learning how to handle her. The whole, um, you know, manual aspect as well, I'm still trying to get a hang of. I might get the other transmission in it. Not automatic, but the other one. Just to see what it's like. But that's obviously going to be a little bit down the uh, down the line, I think. I don't got the money for that right now. Sequential, I think it's called, right? Yes, yeah, sequential. But no, I really like the car. In terms of muscle cars, I think it's the muscle car that kind of suits Max the best. At least vibe-wise. And hopefully, performance-wise, it's going to be pretty decent in the long term, too. Because I could see this being our crime car as well. If all things go well. I just got to see what the turbo has an effect on it with. Because at the moment, it's not too much faster than the Glendale. But it's stylish and it's fun to drive. Like, turning-wise, it's really good. That handling-wise, it's really decent. It's just the top speed is a little bit low. Yeah, definitely have to see what I can do in terms of the shine. It feels a little bit too shiny at the moment. Like, it looks like it's got a white stripe down the middle, but it is gold, I assure you. It's just weirdly shiny. There we go. It's also got six gears on it, too. Once it's in gear six, it's very quiet. Not as growly anymore. I like her. This would probably be... I probably won't buy any more cars on Max for a while now. Which is why I'm saying, like, all our money at this point is going to be getting saved up. I really do want to try and get a house in Grapeseed or just anywhere up north. And that's going to require a little bit of saving to get there. Like, saving moonshine, saving grime, all that stuff. I guess we'll see how this handles off-road in a minute, too. Hopefully decently. I'm curious how many PD officers are going to be around today. Because isn't it, um, training weekend? I wonder if we're going to have any issues with that. Should be fine, though. I, I do want to try and get a bit of a uh, progress made on the moonshine selling. At the very least. Yeah, that's the idea. If, if we do move up north, like Grapeseed, Polito, Sandy, wherever, I would give keys to Ray and Timothy. Since they do spend a lot of time up here. And it would just be a little bit easier for them. I'd say that we'd get the girls' house moved up north, but pretty much everyone in the girls' house except those two are adamant about not moving up north. So it'd be more of like a side house for Max, like a vacation house. I, I don't think Pilito's that bad, personally. I think Pilito's pretty decent. Like, sure, it's a bit of a distance away from the city, but it's like, what, a two-minute drive? Three-minute drive? It's not that bad. But alas, you know... It, it's a shared house. We've all got to agree on where to live. Isn't just up to a few of us. She has her own car. Well, hopefully wherever I move to, we'll have more than one parking space. That's what I'm kind of hoping for. It would be kind of nice to have a place that isn't just one car. I was thinking one of these houses up here, like, you know, on this main street of Grapeseed, I don't think up here would be too bad. I do love the nature aspect of Grapeseed too, and it'd be perfect for the moonshine too. Like, you know, one of the... You know, these houses here. Maybe one of these houses over here, like these ones, these ones. They're not the prettiest of looking houses. But you're not going for the style, you're going for like the location. 
Like, this one looks like a decent driveway. Hopefully, they'll become available soon. There is a way to check garage spaces, yeah, but these aren't even available yet, so you can't check. There's also some houses up this way, too. That'd also probably be just as good. Like, um... Like it's just off up there. It's just, like, on the dock or something. Like, three houses there would be kind of nice. And would be good moonshine storage, too. Like, th that's also one of the reasons why I want to move up north, is because it'd be really good moonshine storage. Go... Is our stuff still there? Yeah, there we go. There's our little cooking area. All right, let's see. Pair recipe. Right, so just going to take a second here to input all this. It is H-I. M-Q. M-Q. I'll know this like the back of my hand at some point, but I'm still learning it. B-C. H-U, is that right? Yep, that's all good. Prepare recipe. Open pot. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. One cook going. Prepare recipe. We should be able to do two of these today. But that's just going to add even more to our... Uh, already growing supply of moonshine bc yep that's all good pair recipe open pot i'm surprised how fast the raised car goes to be honest for an suv it's really good like she shows a good car because it's not like the best in anything but it's a good overall car like good storage good handling good speed not the best in any of those categories, but decent in all of them. Here we go. This one's going to be... H-I... M-Q... M-Q... B-C... Yep. My recipe. Open pot. I don't think I'm going to buy any more Moonshine Stillaries for now. I think four is good at the level that we're at. Maybe expand in the future. Three. There we go. And last but not least. Like I said, I wouldn't mind maybe moving location at some point too. Here's a very good location, but I feel like it's maybe too good. I do wouldn't mind like maybe even a little bit of risk. BC, yep, that's all good. Pair recipe. Open pot. You know, she chose a really good one. Has she been in any police chases with it yet? I'm assuming not because she hasn't been caught for anything yet. There we go. Start cooking. I'm surprised how many people in the city that are actively doing crime that have never been caught. The April and Ray have been doing crime for like a while now, never been caught. I'm pretty sure January is starting to get into crime too. I know a lot of the G6 people in general do like roof running. They can go to prison. <laughs> good. Once you get that first felony, it's fine. After that, it's all good. You go a lot more crazy once you have that first felony over and done with. There we go. All right, let's head back to town. But also, PD isn't exactly in the best space for my understanding right now. I saw those clips last night of the stuff that happened with PD. I don't think PD's in a very good spot to stop criminals right now, for the most part. I think they got some other issues to deal with. Well, so these are the houses I was talking about, by the way. Like, one of these houses, houses would be, like, so cute to own. You know, by the dog, right by the lake. It'd be so cute. Maybe someday. Main character plot armor? Well, you just gotta wait. One day she'll get caught. One day. 
You can't get lucky forever. And one day those G6s will get a felony too. One day. Fishing hopefully soon. I, I'm still praying for fishing being soon. Again, the fact that Michael Simone is uh, campaigning with fishing in mind makes me think that it is around the corner. Well, it's dependent on how fishing works too, whether or not that location would be good. Fishing isn't a thing just yet. I The reason why Michael Simone is campaigning with it is because he's a dev, so he probably knows that it is just around the corner. I don't think he's legitimately campaigning as like, fishing's only going to come if you elect me. He's not doing that. I think he's more so joking with it. You know, an area like that for fishing would be so nice. I really would love a house up this way. Max becomes a country boy. And let's see. So what's next on the agenda? So we've got about roughly about 45 minutes till those cooks are done. Which reminds me, let me get the timer on. Let's head to the coffee shop. Let's do a shift to the coffee shop and make some money. Well, at least make the, um, you know, the delivery money. Whose car? This is Max's car. Actually, I might take this to Mosley's real quick. I want to see if I can maybe mess with the color. Like, it feels way too shiny right now, and I don't like it. I don't know why it's so shiny. It's meant to be matte black, but it feels like it's just regular. So I want to see if I can maybe change that real quick. Take all the credit is brilliant. I think Mickey played Mayor the best, to be honest. But honestly, when it comes to being Mayor in RP, the best way to play it is just going about saying, screw you, I'm the Mayor. Like, it's less about the power of being Mayor, but more so the role of being Mayor, like the title of Mayor. That's the best way, way to be Mayor, is utilizing that. Because ultimately, you don't have that much power. I mean, these days you have a little bit, but not too, too much. Like you can actually just pay in stuff now actively, which definitely is an improvement. There's also a downside to that as well, because if there's bad changes done to the server that people don't like, you also t have to take credit for that too. Like, you know how um, Max probably had to take credit for the whole G6 not doing felonies thing. He's probably getting blamed for that one. It's very much out of his control. People definitely do have a habit of treating mayorship as, like, dev suggestions, too. I think every mayor has faced that once or twice. People just come to you with dev suggestions more so than mayor suggestions. Got the needle. Nice. I'm getting good at that. I an A-plus mayor. I think she could definitely win mayor. I don't think she would enjoy being mayor. It's definitely a fair bit of work being mayor these days. Is it automatic? Nope, this is manual. I've learned how to drive manual now, so it's a bit easier. Wouldn't mind getting sequential, though, so I can, like, switch between the two. It'd be fun seeing how April would handle mayorship. But I don't think she would enjoy it, for the most part. Like, maybe for a week, but after that, probably not. Now you got to remember, being mayor is a three-month commitment. It, it is a long-time commitment, being mayor. Like if you're getting that job, you're going to really want to have... You're really going to want that job. Let's go see if we can mess around with the colors. Disease, guys. Okay, I've not got one. Let's see. So, yeah, I, I want to see... I feel like this is definitely not matte black, right? Let's see. If I can change that real quick. Yeah, this definitely isn't matte. Colors, primary, opaque. There we go. Why did that change? Don't know why that changed. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think opaque... Do you, do you think shiny is better? Normal, metal... 
Metal's definitely way too shiny. Chrome. Chrome is definitely a little bit shiny. I do like the matte black. I, I think the matte black works with the shine of the center one too. Because the whole idea is that the center stripe is meant to be shiny because it's gold. It's meant to like balance out that way. Let's go for that. I could have sworn I chose this yesterday. Maybe I accidentally chose it and, uh, changed it and didn't notice. Right, let's see if anyone's here. Wait, did it just change? Is it already matte black again? I don't know how this... I, I don't know how this, this works. It's fine. We'll give it a second. Lean four. Chill here for a second. Let me get some stuff sorted. Rise and grind. Coffee shop. There we go. How are we doing money wise? 8,000. Not too bad. We, we should have enough to buy a turbo if they've got any. I need someone that's like at least familiar with how turbos work though. Because I, I know turbos like 99 is good, but it's not like the best for every car. So I don't really know how that works for the most part. See if they know. Oh, hey. Hello again. Do you need anything done, uh, Clive? Uh, yes, got a little bit done. I also did have a question as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you know um, much about turbos? Yes. Can't install them, but I do know about them. Yeah, do you know what sort of turbo would be best for this? Because I, I know like 99 is good, but it's not like the best for every car. I don't know what sort so of range I should be looking I will at. Give you in, in general lines, 99 will give you, the, the bigger the turbo will give you higher top speed. And when it starts getting smaller, it helps in the low end acceleration. Not low end, sorry, like low speed acceleration. So if you get a smaller turbo, you'll be more snappy. If you get a bigger turbo, you get more top speed. That's kind of the Got rule of you. thumb. Okay. But then, yeah, every car will, will be a bit different. I don't know what specifically about this car. Yeah, I don't know what would work best for it. The uh, best thing to do is just try, you know, just if, see if someone has a turbo, like a mid one, and, and go for it, and a bigger one. It's not that much different between a 15 and 60, if I see. Got you, okay. Do you know which one's in stock today? Uh, actually, I don't know, because I, I, since I'm cosmetics, he won't even tell me. So we need to get oh, a got you, performance okay. one guy to actually look into that. Got um, you, okay. But as soon as I know, I'll put a um, sign up there. I appreciate it. Okay, I don't know if anything changed here. Yeah, it's weird, because it, it wasn't matte black before, but then I changed it to matte and then it was fine. I don't get how this works. So... Is this fine right now? It looks matte black to me right now. It's like matte. Well, okay, you got a pearlescent on it, right? Yeah. It's uh, I it don't think I've got any pearlescent on it. It's mm. just uh, the center stripe is metal. It's the lighting. Yeah, yeah, it's probably the lighting well, as well. It's, it's there. Yeah, I guess I'll have to see if it just sticks or not. Okay, go go park it and, and check if it sticks. Alrighty. Okay. I yeah, appreciate the help. Me, but I, you know where it's in there. I forgot who helped out Ray. Oh, wait, but most mechanics, I think, have a decent what? idea on how it all works. Yeah. yeah. You see, that definitely does look better. Not as shiny as it was before. It's a little bit shiny. I'm just trying to zoom out real quick. The lighting is always kind of difficult to tell. So I'm just trying to zoom out the camera right now, but it keeps going first person. There we go. Everything looks pretty good. Let's go park it and see if it sticks. Maybe it's just a thing where it doesn't stick when you park it. I guess all we've got to do is just briefly go into Mosley's change and then it's fine. Don't need to pay every time though, I don't think. Grove Street looks as active as ever. 
Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I, I don't know what's going to be best for me to go for then with this. Do you think top speed or acceleration? I don't think it's got that bad acceleration as is. Top speed is about 110, so maybe that would be good to look into. Or maybe like a mix of the two would be good. Okay. All right. I guess I just can't see that right now. Okay. That's fine. Okay. There we go. That's not something that's invisible. Let's give this a go. Let's park this and see what it looks like when we pull it out. Oop. Yeah, I was thinking maybe acceleration. So maybe like a lower end one. Maybe like the 60 range. See, why does the color change? I think it's still matte black, right? But why does the color look different? Oh, let me park that again. That center stripe looked different there for a second. I think it's just the lighting. The lighting throws me off a little bit with this. But it's meant to be a gold stripe. That's what I was going for. But like in certain lighting, it just looks like white for some reason. I don't know why. No, it's always been gold. It, it just looks really weird sometimes. But no, the car is pretty decent. I'll, I'll show you on the highway so we can highway blast it. Oh. Nailed it. Yeah, top speed isn't the best. Acceleration's decent. But obviously, again, not the best. I think getting a good turbo in this will be the difference, though. Yeah, I, I definitely want it to be less shiny. Guess maybe it's just a little bit glitch from last night or something. Maybe I didn't park it right. Acceleration, maybe. Maybe like a 60 turbo would be good. 60 to 70. Maybe that's what I'm going to be looking for. I know everyone wants the 99s, and that's the reason they're as expensive as they are. I'm not too fussed about getting a 99. I think everyone just automatically assumed a higher number equals better. <gasps> okay, didn't drift that too well. I was scared to go in the full drift there in case it went flying off. All right, let's go get some ingredients for the shop. Borrow just to see. I don't think many people are very, like, willing to let go of their turbos. <laughs> for obvious reasons. And also, I'm pretty sure everyone that we know doesn't really have turbos. But does Ray's car even have a turbo? Or, like, I think April's does. Yep, this is Max's new wheels. I wanted, I always kind of wanted to get a muscle car on Max, so it's nice that I finally do have one. Oh, they do have ones. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, so it might be worth seeing if we can run into Lionel at some point, because he probably would know best. All right, hold on. Oh, there we go. Give me 25 of this. Give me 20, well, one of those, and then 25 of these. There we go. Right, let's go get our bartending outfit on. Yeah, I definitely am getting used to the manual aspect now. Basically, as it turns into the red, I need to shift up. That's kind of what I'm learning. Ever since I rebound the keys for shifting up and down as well, it's become definitely a lot easier. I, the, the default keys are so bad. The way that I've got it is just a lot easier. Also, I need to check something. I think Ray was able to park her car here. Hey. 
I think. The last night I did see that the Granger was parked here. Yeah, her car's parked here. The glitch happened again. The good glitch. Allowed us to park too. This isn't supposed to work like this, by the way. It's a glitch, but you know. The hell? Did she customize it? Did she get money rims? Okay, fair enough. To each their own. Yeah, the red is definitely a look. It was black before, right? Or was it gray? Long story. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. None of Max's business. That's what it is. Here we go. Don't mind me just eating a rat real quick. Green. There we go. I'm going to leave that for Ray to sort out. That, that, that is Ray's car to sort, not ours. We'll stay in our lane and mind our own business. Let me store this in here real quick. Boom. Actually, I'm going to take these with me. Organization. Yeah, whatever's happening there, that's hers to sort out, not ours. Hopefully she doesn't park it somewhere else. Because if she does park that car somewhere else, then it will. Um, she won't be able to park here again. Right now, we're just going to keep the glitch while we got the glitch. That's what I did with my car. There we go. Let me give this a quick repair to get rid of the broken windows. Oh. Yeah, the money rooms are definitely a choice. Not going to say it's a good or bad choice, but it's definitely a choice. Why is the trunk open? And boop. Perfect. All right, let's make our way over to the coffee shop. Do our daily delivery to make at least a little bit of money from it. Why? It's... I mean, money wheels can definitely look good sometimes. I think it very much depends on the car. I think they can look good sometimes. So I'm trying to zoom out the camera again. Not many people know that you can actually zoom out the camera. It took me a while to learn about it. Oh, let me see. Come on. Commands. It, the only annoying thing is that it's the same button as going in first person. Command, zoom out. Come on. It's a very tricky thing to do sometimes. Max of three cars now? Yeah, he's got three cars. He's got the Glendale, he's got the Phoenix, and he's got the Injection. The most expensive car he owns is this one, which is 23k. The Glendale was 8k and the injection was 5. Max isn't really someone with rich tastes for the most part. Damn it, I zoomed out for a second there. The thing is with the zoom out thing, you've got to hold down the first person button for like a second and then not hold down it anymore. But it's tricky because sometimes it just doesn't work. Come on. There we go. Just gives a better perspective of the car. I can zoom out one more time as well, but I'm not going to risk that because I've got to do it all over again. All right. Now, it, it's just the same button in general going first person. But you can change the keybind if you want to. But I, I changed it on mine because what I had it as before is the same button as neutral or something. Like the end button for some reason does something in muscle cars. I don't know what though. I couldn't find the key binding. So I've now got it on my numpad, the change camera thing. The 
Zuma works on foot too. Do, do, do. Uh, there's uh, some cash there on the door still. Do the dirt. Here we go. I wonder if we have any changes today. Clock in. Open dispenser. Beans. Anything new there? Nope, same as before. Anything new over here? Damn it, still don't have any snacks. Maybe someday we'll have snacks. Maybe someday. I just want snacks. I just want some food to sell here. Alright, let me get the copy paste. Let's see, where is it? There it is. Wait, no, is that? So I'm just trying to find my copy paste things right now. There we go. Got it. Boom. How'd you get them? Get what? The uh the deliveries? Or do you mean the stools in general? The stools in general, you just gotta like be lucky for the most part. Snacks. Oh right, yeah. It's random. We are trying to ask the mayor if we can get it, because apparently the stool next to us asked for drinks and they got drinks. It's a difficult thing, though, because, like, the stools aren't really balanced for the most part, if that makes sense. Like, no, we can only serve coffee here, whereas, say, Burger by the Ocean, they can sell drinks and food. Like, there's three things you can make. You can make mains, sides, and drinks. Burger by the Ocean can make mains, sides, and drinks. The pizza shop can only make mains and sides, and we can only make drinks here. So, like, certain stools are better than other ones. It would be nice if we could make sides. Like, I don't care about mains. Just, like, some nice side things would be good. Like, muffins, you know, cheesecake, something like that. Hopefully, at some point, we can make that. For now, though, the coffee's just as good. People do like their morning coffees. Nice and grind. Oh, got a delivery. Nice. Why are you so, British? so we need cappuccino with ice. Brain you again. Did you turn cappuccino with ice. Hard. Latte with ice and milk. And sweet milk tea with just ice. There we go. We'll go do the delivery once we're on the next stage of the moonshine. Yeah, because we all pay the same amount for our stools too. The thing is, I don't know if... The thing is... Well, I'm going to say the thing is... Uh, coffee might give some extra benefits that we just don't know about just yet. Like, back in the day, coffee made it so that you could do things faster. Which is very useful for, like, mechanics and stuff. I don't know if that does that now, though. Because if that's the case, then it definitely is good that we just have coffee. Then it's balanced if we just have coffee. Come on. Boom. Move those down there for now. All right, your order is done. Boop. See, what I think would be interesting for these stalls is if they were blank and then you could choose what your business is. At the moment, what you get is what you get. Morning, Hazel. So, morning, Max. What's good? What's good? I know, just kind of waking up at the moment. You sell? I'm doing all right. I'm just kind of woken up myself. Kind of woken up myself. Mm -hmm. All right. Might have forget the norm, the usual. Yeah, it's your thing. Cappuccino, coconut milk. You know, cappuccino, coconut milk, two pints of caramel. Yeah, you've got it. Yeah. There you go. Just tap a card there. Appreciate it. Thanks, Max. I know what he's just been up to G6 today. Uh, I don't know. I might actually do something. I like. I was gonna go to sleep, and then I realized that the the casino is opening today, so I might actually put on like a whole casino outfit you know go all out you know type shit yeah see how that goes yeah do a bit of gambling if you got the money go in with what you're willing to lose that's the best thing when it comes to gambling 
That's fair enough. If I lose it all, I lose it all. If I win it all, I win it all. So, yeah, exactly. We'll see ya. Do you know how much the memberships cost? I uh, no clue. I think it's free membership. You just got to get a signed up beforehand. Sign up for Uh, actually, might be able to get signed up there. I don't know if the the system's changed since I was last there. About to get it twisted, bro. <laughs> right, and here we go. Like, One cappuccino right there for you. I hope that you enjoy. Of course. Of course. Yeah, I appreciate like it. A, I appreciate it. Like That's the what is. It's Marty's casino. Right, Max, I hope you have a good day. I'll see you at the you casino. Uh, probably not, no. Really? Why not? Well, I quit. Uh, you worked there. No, I quit. Like two, three weeks ago. Really? Why? Yeah. I, my heart just wasn't in it. Oh, okay. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. And then Father's Day, the month. I think I'm just kind of done with like running businesses in general. Much for just this sort of work. Oh, fuck. Really? That's also why I'm not going because it, it still feels a bit awkward. Don't think Marty likes me. Fair. That is fair. I mean, I. I'm gonna go for it. I just don't know how to run any businesses, you know. So uh, I wanna hmm. try with my own shit, you know. Yeah, I, I much prefer just being the uh, customer service guy. I think that's what I'm good at. Managing employees and stuff like that just isn't my thing. It's always coming to government. It'll be interesting how the opening goes. That's crazy. I'm sorry. I just got a notification on my phone. The new ban list is out. Endless? Oh, got you. It's crazy. One of a lot of you. I don't know anything about that. I mean, yeah. Oh, great. Majestic unicorn. Majestic unicorn is back. All right. Um. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's not really anything like. I wouldn't say it's anything like that. Oh, that's, oh, that's so funny. That's a funny one. Well, back. I don't understand a thing you're saying. Yeah, I know. Well, all right. No problem. All right, Max. If anything, I'll see you later. I'll see you around then. All right. I'll catch you in a bit. Actually, actually, you know, maybe you could help me. In what way? I don't know. Uh, kind of kind of dating someone now so i just oh the the lock-in thing worked oh, you knew about that yeah glorian called me because he wanted to do it in here but i was busy at the time oh yeah it did work nice congrats yeah we're dating so i mean if she's around and i'm around uh, i don't know i kind of want to set up a date or something I'm yeah let's see how things go but i wish you the best of luck yeah, I appreciate We're friends it. with a lot of stirrers, so best of luck. Yeah, brother, you don't even understand, dude. I talked to Max on the phone. He told me I should run out. Literally, I sat here, a single, like, I'm telling you, Max, we went on a date. Before the day ended yesterday, half of the city already fucking knew and was trying to ruin it. Yep. That's how it goes. All if right. you let people stir, they're going to stir. I don't let them, though. you got to take a hard stance on it. Tell them to bugger off. I probably will from now on. Hmm. All right, Max. I'll catch you around. All right, catch you in a bit. And yeah, Max is very much against stirring when it comes to people's relationships. He's had that happen to him once before, and it didn't end good. Sometimes people just need to let things be. Not everything needs to be stirred. Sometimes jokingly stirring something can lead into seriously stirring something. Like the whole Kitty and Gigi situation. I know that part of the reason why that ended bad is because the Valentines were delivered like a month later. But let's be honest, it would have still been just as messy if it was delivered on time. Kitty knew what she was doing with that. That's why I'm pretty much against stirring anything when it comes relationship wise. It just ends messy. No one enjoys it at the end. Who's dating now? I don't know. I, th I think it's someone called Yuri. I think it might be a G6 worker. 
So we're talking about Marty's Casino. That's the one that's opening today. Is, is Marty's Casino opening up today, not the actual casino? Let's just see how that goes. I, I wish him the best of luck with it. Hopefully he's at least able to make his money back. Everyone yesterday, I'm so happy. Yeah, I, I think Max and Ray had a very good talk yesterday. I always like those little talks we get to have with Ray. Like, you know, just kind of nice one-on-one -on -one sort of talks. Max is pretty decent at giving relationship advice, even though he's never been in a relationship in town. He's just very good at stating, like, Max's strength is being level-headed for the most part. And maybe just a little bit enabling, too. Just a tad bit enabling. A little bit. Max, have any goals right now? At the moment, his main goal is to do with the moonshine. This is just a way for him to socialize this job. Less so about the money, more about the socialization. But it's kind of difficult to set like long-term goals in RP right now just because we don't know what the future is going to hold. Like everything in the city could change tomorrow. So it's kind of difficult to set like see, you know, like proper long-term goals. Everything's always changing. Like tomorrow, Moonshine could be completely different. Or, you know, or something else could be released tomorrow that's like much better than Moonshine, something I enjoy a lot more. Hello? Do you want to do a tier 3 vault with me? I, I don't do G6. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm a Grimer, sorry. Oh, it's okay. Apologies. Yeah, I love you. You take care, man. Take care. Mm -hmm. We have deluxe pizza ready to go hot. Yeah, no, I, even though I, I don't like Grime much anymore, I, I don't want to invest time into G6 knowing that it's, it's basically going to be a waste of time for me. That way you get two free drinks. Since I am planning to get a felony, there's no point in me investing time in G6. I've, I'm still holding out hope that Grime changes. I'm, I'm still holding out hope that Grime is going to have some changes soon. Because the thing is, everyone in G6 as well, at some point, is no longer going to be able to do G6. So the social aspect isn't even really worth investing into right now. Because I'm pretty sure we're maybe like a month out for most people in G6 kind of quitting and going into crime. Sorry for the wing. I can't see Lottie and Queenie sticking to it for too much longer. I think as soon as Yuno gets his felony and he can no longer do it, I think a lot of people are going to move on with him. But if Yuno was to get a felony and no longer able to do G6 whatsoever, I could see Queenie and Lottie going to go do some crime with him instead. Same with like January, she's already going into crime as well. I think the only one that maybe remain is September, because she's still pretty new to it all. Whereas everyone else has been doing G6 for like three, four months now. Actually, it's gonna be how it's gonna be what four months in two days that the server's been open. God, it's almost been four months. 4.0's been out for Jesus. Max be the last person I'm expecting to have a felony. Well, you know, I'm just trying some different things with him. I want to do crime on Max, but I want to do crimes that make sense for him. Like Moonshine. Moonshine makes sense for him. And with how his story has gone in 4.0, with, with the people that he surrounds himself with, and how the, he's been treated by the state, it makes sense for him to go down the criminal path. Like, the state took away his home, effectively. They took away the Liquid Library from him. And, and in RP, Max dedicated seven years to the Liquid Library. IRL, I dedicated two years to the Liquid Library. Two IRL years. Trying to build that place up. Then as soon as it's finished, it gets taken away from him. That's what's pushed Max down the criminal path. Attempt to kill Pedia's first charge? Nah. You gotta remember, Max is, even though he's going down the path of crime, Max is still Max. He, he's not a violent dude. It's one of the reasons I don't want to get into weed, is because weed is violent. Uh, the selling of weed is violent. And that's just not Max. Moonshine is a lot more, le like, less violent. Like, even chopping cars, the whole stabbing of the dog thing, that's even a little bit too much for Max. I get that they're just locals and NPCs, but you know, to Max, they're real people. That's a real dog. That's a real person. A lot would need to happen for Max to go down the violent path. 
And I like the idea that if Max is going to shoot someone, it's for something serious. Hold your arms up. That the first person that Max shoots, I want it to mean something. Rather than just be like another day in the Santos. It's like with um, going to jail. For, for those who don't know, Max went to jail at the end of 3.0 for weed growing related charges. And the charge I was supposed to get was only going to be 20 minutes. By OOC asked the judge to make it two years instead, aka two days. Because I wanted Max's first time in jail to be something big. I didn't want to just be in jail for like 10 minutes, then back out again. I wanted it to be like an actual thing the character has to go through. Instead of 24 months, I treated it like two years, which, you know, is 24 months. But, you know, in RP, it's different. Once this first time in jail to actually have some impact on the character. And it did. That's when Max grew a beard when he was in jail. And he's kept it ever since. A cappuccino with oat milk, dog. Okay, yeah, sure know. thing. Hell yeah. There we go. If you want to just tap your card there, I'll get that started for you. Thank you, dog. Is this a start of your day coffee or just a midday coffee? Yeah, start of the day. Ah, just a little boost to get you started. Wake up my it's, it's always good to get started with a coffee. Uh, how many pounds of caramel? Uh, just one today. Just one? No sure thing. Sure. No sugar, sure thing. There we go, getting the last little bit done here. I've wanted to have an ICU walk, but no one, no one gives me it. Go splash the milk. Come on. Unfortunately, you and I weren't able to link up by the time we were done. Here we go. And that is one cappuccino right there for you. I hope that you enjoy. Thank you, Doug. Have a great day. You as well. Yeah. I've never been ocean dumped. In, uh, in the seven IRL years that I've been playing Max at this point. Well, actually, no, it's more like five years, five IRL years. I've never been ocean dumped. Uh, it's, it's very rare for Max to ever get sent to the hospital as well. But the only person I can think of that have purposely sent Max to the ICU is OTT, not to the ICU, to the hospital, is OTT when he stabbed Max once for quote-unquote snitching. There was Fingal Dan who beat down Max once, shot him once, set him on fire once, and dropped him off the back of building once. And there was Mike Block who shot Max once for a whole thing he was doing with Tessa. It wasn't anything to do with him, it was to do with Tessa. That's kind of it. I guess, oh, I guess there's the whole situation with the manor in 4.02. I guess that was definitely one time as well. But I would love to have an ICU arc. Just to see what would happen, you know? There's a reason why I've got my ICU contact list all sorted. I want the drama, the spice. I don't get to get spice much on Max. He's British. He doesn't get spice. Well, he gets spice. He just doesn't use it. Yeah, I think this this list is still solid. Even if these two are dead at this point. Still a solid list. But one day I'll get that arc. One day. I just gotta wait and see what happens. I, I would ICU, it, it, not from like an accident or anything. It'd have to be like someone purposely downing Max for a reason. I'd want it to be for something serious rather than something jokey. Like, you know, Ray stabbing us, I wouldn't go to the ICU. Though I don't think Ray would do that. Like, you know, the violence and like the stabbing is definitely Ray's love language, but I don't think she would do that to Max. Same way that she wouldn't do it to April. Different friends can have different love languages. Uh, Max, I, I would want to do that to Ray. But, you know, if it was something serious that we got stabbed over, it'd be different. Yeah, exactly. It should have reason, because that's what gives it impact. But if I just got hit by a car and went to the ICU, there'd be, like, no impact to it. You want there to be that story impact. Bring in the spice. Same with ocean dumping, too. You want it to mean something. But I generally have never been ocean dumped before. Max very rarely ever gets into conflict with people, which is just generally how his character is, but I wish that he did. 
I said at the start of stream, I've made Max in a way where he, like, he as a character doesn't get into Spice, and I want him to get into Spice, but I still want to play him as Max. Like, I don't want to, you know, OOC play the character in a way in order to get Spice. I, I got to play the character as the character. I just wish that there was more Spice that he got into. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. For now, though, we do coffee and we do moonshine. That's our thing. Maybe the spice will come to us someday. And then I get to ICU. Go to the ICU, then chill for a couple of days. Bring in a Dan character for a couple of days. I definitely do want to play a Dan character again. Let's see, how long have we got left in our moonshine for now? Because I'm going to go do the delivery after we do the moonshine. We've got, oh, we've got five minutes. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll give it a few more minutes here, then we'll go do that. Hello, I run the pizza store. What kind of food are you looking for? They will kill you. <laughs> but imagine the spice inside the ICU room. I mean, the saddest thought is that, like, if Max does ICU, no one will be around for the spice. I finally get an ICU arc, and it's a day that no one's around, so I don't get the spice. I want that drama in the ICU room, goddammit. I want that drama. He's good at that. I want them to try and wake me up. As long as he distracts him from the buns. We don't know if Max has been ocean dumped. Again, just Max isn't getting into too much conflict. As long as he distracts you from the buns. Max is too nice for most people to want to start conflict with him. And Max, in general, is just a very de-escalating sort of guy. He's not- he's never the person to escalate a situation. Do you happen to have a coffee that would sate somebody's hunger? No, it's coffee. Yeah. You, you can get a burger there and then get a coffee, that's what I do. Stop- stop yeah. being a Pizza. Mime. Uh, mime right now. I would like to try a latte, uh, with two pounds of vanilla. Two pounds of vanilla, uh, okay. milk tea, please. Sure thing. Uh, what milk would you like in it? Uh, oat milk, I guess. Oh, milk, sure thing. There you go. If you want to just tap your card there, I'll get that started for you. Oops, milk tea. One of those. There we go. Let me get that started for you. There we go. How many pumps did you want? Uh, two, please. Two pumps in each or just one? Just the latte? Uh, j j just the latte. Sure thing. One, two. Any sugars? Uh, eh, two sugars. Might as well. Two sugars. One, two. And how many in the sweet milk tea? Uh, sweet milk tea, just, uh, just bare, I guess. Nothing else in it but the sweet milk. Okay, the sure thing. There we go. Pour that up. There we go. That is one sweet milk tea and one latte right there for you. I hope that Thank you, you so enjoy. Much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. No worries. There we go. View orders. Boom. All right. I think it's moonshine time. Let's go. Let's go do this delivery, then we're gonna go do the moonshine. Hi there, how are you? Pretty good. I'm gonna uh, help you. Can I get, uh... Yeah, one day I will get that icy walk, I swear. One day. Now that we're getting into crime, maybe we'll start getting into more conflict with people. Max just needs to get meaner. He needs to slap on his angry eyebrows. He's gotta become a Chad. Then I could finally get use out of the Max Chad emote. The Von Chad emote. He'll fully become a Chad. Just start beating people up on the street. I mean, he does have a muscle car now, you know. That just means he has to show off his muscles. Here we go. Move this to my main inventory. Right, let's roll.
Just lying in this garage is always really weird. Maybe someday, but for now, Max is a character, just is not a Chad. Maybe Classic the Clown will be a Chad. And if we ever need Chad moments, we just change persona. Max starts to just hide himself behind masks and change character behind each mask. I have thought about that. That a way for Max to get confident doing crime is by, like, making a character to go do crime in. So it's not him doing the crime, it's the character. I've always kind of liked that idea. Let's see... over here? Should be... oh, there's the dude. Here you go, Mr. Carl. Hey. Enjoy. Wait, what? What do you mean I'm missing one food item? Sue milk tea. Ah, oh, use milk, not ice. Damn it. He only wanted ice in the sweet milk tea, not the milk. I'm going to drink this in front of him. <sighs> Hold on, we need to go make another one. I could have sworn I just chose the eyes. Right, let's head back. What the hell am I doing? Hey! One really nice coffee. We just park outside this time. We don't need to go to the garage. The yeah, like rain hiccups. Honestly, I can't wait till we get to do some stuff with hiccups. I think it's gonna be fun. Classy and hiccups. The queen and the advisor to the queen. Not the official title just yet, but I think it's a decent title. One day maybe an official title. Here we go. So we just need ice. Sweet milk tea with ice only. All right, I'll be back. Max is a clown? Potentially. We're going through the clown battle pass. You got three of them there. You got four of them there. I think it looks okay on the Glendale, but yeah, it definitely does look better on the muscle car. I just, I just like the color scheme of black and gold. I really wish there's some outfits we can get without black and gold. But unfortunately, there just, they just isn't. I mean, maybe that could be Classy's outfit. Yeah, Classy the Clown. That's the name we're thinking. Every fiber of me wants to go make the clown outfit now, but I think it'd be more fun if we do it with Sudi and Ray. Ooh. All right, there we go. That is definitely with ice this time, right? Yeah, with ice. Quality 2%. Nice. Right, I will be right back. And boop. But it, Max isn't going to become a clown with a clown battle pass. It's just doing clown-like activities. Max probably won't become a clown from it, but he'll definitely be maybe an associate. I think people have to remember when it comes to gangs and groups, you don't just instantly join a group. You've got to hang around them first, get to know them first. And that can take like months, if not years sometimes. Like the guild, for instance. The guild don't like just invite people off the whim. It sometimes takes like years for someone to get invited to the guild, even with like hanging out with them daily. Different groups have different, like, ways they invite people. Hold on. Yeah, like, I'd say Timothy's pretty close to joining the guild, but he's been hanging out with them for, like, two, three months now, right? I still not, like, guaranteed a spot in the guild. Same with Delver. I don't think Del was an official member of the guild, and he's been hanging out with them for years at this point.
It's not about Kate's status with CG. I know she's very close with them. But again, CG is a good example of that. People don't just get invited to CG off a whim. You've got to be around them for a long while before that happens. And even then, it's not guaranteed. Here we go. Right, so it should be the right order now. Go. Nice. Three hundred and forty dollars. Wow. If only we got these deliveries more often, rather than just once a day. Oop. All right, let's make our way up to Grape Seed. We'll take the Vinewood way, I think. A few people know she's a clown. Well, she hangs out with the clowns a lot, right? I think most people do at least see her as a clown associate. But we'll see how things go. You, you've got to go with the way the RP goes. Like with the clown battle pass, it probably will hang out with the clowns a bit. And whether that leads us to officially join the clowns is one thing. Just got to see where the RP goes. I very much a go with the flow sort of RP. I, I never make like any big, big plans. I make general plans like you know, getting into the moonshine stuff, but no like big, big plans. Because RP is like always changing. You can never really plan story arcs for the most part. Things just kind of happen. But that's one of the beauties of RP. You can never predict what's going to happen. Rolling with the punches is a very big thing. Hey, Maritime dies thanks to tier one. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful goblin and maximotes. Appreciate the support. Hold on. Still getting used to this whole shift thing. There we go. All good, all good. You know, we'll see where things go. Definitely not opposed to having a clown arc. But it's just whether or not the RP goes there. I think the clown arc is definitely a good opportunity to develop Max's character. As in, like, you know, Max in general is a very high strung character. He's not a very easy going character for the most part. They always worry about worst case scenarios and stuff like that. Maybe high strung. Is high strung the right word? Like tightly wound, whatever you want to call it. Stick up his butt, wh wh however you want to phrase it. And the clown arc is a good opportunity for him to get a bit more carefree, a bit more loose. Which leads well into the criminal arc in general. But also, being high strung and being like that sort of, uh, you know stick up his butt guy is part of what his character is too so it's just kind of balancing it like sometimes having a character that can look at all worst case scenarios is a good thing it also means that he avoids conflict a lot too CG Mortus is raised back home now with them. I mean, Max has no real reason to hang out with CG. He, he doesn't really know them too well. Like, if he's hanging out with Ray and then Ray hangs out with CG, then probably, yeah. But I don't think Max would, like, go hang out with CG independently. Just because he doesn't know them that well. I mean, same with the clowns. Like, Max probably wouldn't hang out with the clowns independently right now. But if we're hanging out with Ray and then she hangs out with the clowns, then we'll hang out with them. It's like having a friend in different friend groups, you know? Like friend group A, friend group B. Like a friend from friend group A isn't going to go hang out with someone from friend group B independently.
seeing characters with the opposite personalities interacting. I mean, sometimes that makes the best dynamics for characters too. I think that's one of the reasons why Max and April really hit it off as well as they did. is because they are very opposite to each other. I've always thought that if I was to get into a relationship RP with a character on Max, it would be more fun if it was with a character that is like very different to Max, more so than similar. Like Jaeger, for instance. Like Jaeger is basically the complete opposite to Max, which is why I thought it'd be fun if one day if they ever did have a relationship RP going on. And also the whole thing of like angel and demon. That's too good to miss. Yeah, just because characters are like opposites in ways doesn't mean that they're, you know, not going to be well good with each other. I, I think it just makes interesting dynamics. You know, Max being the high strung guy in the clowns could maybe bring in a decent dynamic. So I do have trunk space in this, I'm pretty sure. So she'll be able to collect it. One thing I definitely don't want to ever change with Max, though, is be the calm in the storm. I think it's good to have characters like that in the server. Like, you know, th there's so many, like, chaotic characters, crazy things always happening. It's nice to have characters that are just, like calm within that storm and the crazy characters also do appreciate that because sometimes they do need some time to just chill like things being crazy wacky 100% all the time is just a very easy way to get burnt out you need that calm within the storm sometimes I think Max provides that pretty well being a good straight man even if he is bi there we go let's load this in here Boom. So I'll try and become a cop. Eh. Cop RP is too go, 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 go for me. Like the appeal for cop RP for most people is the fact that it's like constantly something going on. Like it's genuinely go, go, go. You never really get a chance to breathe. For me, that doesn't really work. Like for me, my specialty when it comes to streaming in general is just chill vibes. That's what I specialize in. And you don't really get chill vibes when it comes to cop RP. It is constant stress. I prepare recipe. But that's, again, that's what appeals to some people. It is the fact that it is just constant go, go, go. Being, cop RP is basically non-stop content when it comes to streaming. And that is definitely a big appeal for people. But for me, that's just not the sort of content that I do. I know what I'm good at, and that's chill vibes. When you're doing streaming, you need to be able to do something that you're going to be able to do for a long period of time. Like, eight hours at a time. And I know if I try and be high energy, that it just isn't going to work for me. I'd rather do something that I'm more comfortable with doing. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, shit, I don't have enough old fruit. Okay, you're not going to be a full cook today, that's fine. Didn't even see that. I thought I had enough. Two, three. Two, three. That's fine. We'll just get two going for now. Boom. Yeah, I, I, I like the chill vibes. It is genuinely my specialty when it comes to streaming. Now, it's always better to lean into your strengths. Again, that's how you risk not getting burnt out. I could try and be more high energy, but that just isn't me. There we go. Hate you. Ah! Sorry, I dropped my notebook. Oh, God. Ah! I've got the, the recipe in the notebook that I'm looking in right now. There we go. But maybe someday I'll try Cop RP. Just, I don't see it any time in the future. Especially right now, Cop RP is like constant go, go, go from what I've seen. One, two, three. One, two, three. Start cooking. Pair recipe. They plan to do cast Mar kiss, marry, kill. The three maxes. <laughs> 
I'm guessing she brought that up the three Max thing because Max mentioned that he had previously had a crush on Sudi. Which is true. The keyword there is previous. She's married now. Happily married from Max's understanding. Max ain't a home wrecker. Mm. And oh yeah, we can't do one more, can we? Yeah, we don't have enough fruit, damn it. That's fine. Let me store the supplies in the trunk for now. Three will do for now. There we go. Yes, it was crazy for the cops. Yeah, I saw a few clips about that. Cops definitely seem to be very damn bad right now. I think it's also Academy this weekend too. How's selling going? That's something I'm going to be doing a little bit later. I got to get better in terms of organization though with the moonshine. I got to get a better system going. At the moment, it's all over the place. You know, this isn't half bad off, off road. A lot better than what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I don't think Lenny's going to be a cop anytime soon again. Which might be good for moonshining, because I think he's one of the cops that patrolled north the most. Upgrade for the moonshiners. Yeah, I want to get more moonshine storage. I just don't have the money for it right now. I need to get another box as soon as I can. I mean, I could go collect my paycheck. I might have enough after the paycheck. Actually, let's go do that. Let's head over to Bay City. I'll turn in the cash that I've got too. Because it's 10k for a storage. And with two storage, I should have enough for organization. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how Cop RP goes. It doesn't seem to be in a good spot right now, PD. I know there is an academy this weekend, but I guess I have to wait and see how that goes. From what I've been able to see with cop up is that there's a very, like, high turnover rate right now. Wish them the best. I mean, you do need a solid police force for an RP server. So hopefully they are able to sort something out. You know, th there's no fun in being a criminal if there's no risk of getting caught by the police. At that point, you're just doing civilian work. You want there to be that risk. You need that risk there. Otherwise, it's just kind of dull. Otherwise, Moonshine Deliveries is just basically a grind delivery run. I like that there is that threat that I can get caught. Even if Max does play it pretty safe. So you have more fun to do crime? Ultimately, yeah. Though be getting into crime in 4.0 is definitely very grindy. Now, being a solo criminal isn't an easy thing to do in 4.0. Oh. Heck even happened there. They should increase their pay. That isn't the reason why there's not many police officers, though. No one becomes a police officer to make money. It's part of the reason why they don't have that high pay. Because, like, effectively they got paid with content, if that makes sense. Like, the, the benefit of being a police officer isn't the pay. Like, you could reduce the pay of PD to, like, zero, and there'd still be people being police officers. It's because they don't do it for the money. They do it for the, you know, the RP of being a cop. You know, refuel at the Bay City gas station, then we'll head over to the Bay City Bank. At least that was the argument in uh, 3.0 when I was trying to change the pay of PD. 
Because I was trying to increase it. I think the reason why senior buns and other jobs get paid so much is because that's the incentive. Like, you need people to be working senior buns, so the money is the incentive for people working there. With PD, the incentive is the work that you get to do as a police officer, more so than the pay. It's a very difficult thing to balance, for sure. I guess very difficult thing to balance as well because there's some police officers that maybe spend like five hours on duty every day whereas there's other police officers that spend like 20 hours a day on duty and that can really mess up the economy if they have like tons and tons of money the economy in general is a very difficult thing to balance I don't envy the devs for that we should lure in new people but I don't see many people becoming police officers for money. They even knew people. If you want money, go to group six or grind. Those will always be the best for money. Refuel. The person that Sudi's married to is Richard. He used to work at a uh, uh, burger shop, I believe. People on server, most G6 workers. Yeah, G6 is definitely the best paying job. There's a reason why pretty much everyone that's in Marlowe's loan company is a G6 worker. For the most part. G6 is a very good balance of social RP and money RP. Whereas grime is just good for money rather than social. If I, was, if I went into G6 more so than grime on max, I probably would grind it more. Because it has that social element. But I don't want to grind grime on stream because let's be honest, grime's kind of boring. I know some of you guys would be okay with it, but I would feel self-conscious about it. Because it is just being in a truck with one person for an hour plus. There's only so many conversations you can have with people. Whereas with group six, you can cycle people more. And you have like different things you can do in between too. I mean, grind can be fun with the right person, but again, you can only do it for so long with one person. I, I like hanging out with Timothy, but... Do I want to spend like eight hours in a truck with Timothy and that's all that we do? <laughs> Only so much you can do, you know? Only so many conversations can be had. Let me just do a quick repair. And boom. Well, there's a reason why most people that do grime usually watch a TV show or movie on the side. <laughs> Which isn't really a good thing. Where's my... Oh, there goes my repair kit. Okay, that's fine. Parking this up should fix the window thing. Oh, shit. I forgot that I've got, like, moonshine in the back here. Eh. We'll sort that when we go collect the next cook. I forgot that's what I was doing. I'm supposed to go to the moonshine, dude. Maybe we'll do that after this. I mean, it's definitely a good chance to catch up with people, too. I just wish it wasn't as long. I think more people would be willing to do, a, like, a grime run a day if it's, like, 30 minutes. The fact that it can take an hour to an hour and a half is just too much. Like, you know, I, I could see, like, Ray and Eli being more willing to go do grime runs if they're only 30 minutes long. For an hour doing a grime run is just so goddamn long. So long. I generally would be fine if they reduced the pay of grime and just made it so it was, it was shorter. 
would be a better experience, in my opinion. Or at least some variety in the job. Oh, nice, 2,000. Yeah, exactly. Like, say if you only stream for five hours a day, one grime run is like, what, 20% of your stream? It can definitely be rough. 583. It's why most streamers do go for G6. It's why, like, September and why January went for G6 rather than Grime. It is just genuinely better for that. There we go. But one thing, if I could submit a wish list for Grime, my two things I would love is, one, we could own something like ATMs, like maybe vending machines or something, to get passive money. And two, maybe a... A run that makes, like, a decent bit of money that takes 30 minutes, but you can only do it once per storm. Like, a vault run, basically, but you can only do it once per, per storm. Because then I could save that and take, like, you know, Ray, Eli, some that we know that needs money on it, and they'd be fine to do it. But obviously, you still want G6 to be the better job, because the thing with G6 is that you can't have a felony. That's kind of, like, the balance with it. But that doesn't mean that Grime can't have, like, some slight improvements done to it. An hour is a good run. Most runs last, like, an hour 30. Because it's all based on luck, too. Like, it's based on the contracts you get. And, you know, an hour in a truck with one other person... But you're basically separated from the server for an hour and a half. Because none of the stops bring you by anywhere where people are going to be. So you're basically separated from the server for an hour 30 minutes. Isn't really the best. I don't even have a chance of getting robbed. Because it's just not worth it getting robbed. The biggest thing you have to worry about is scuff. My most people do phone simulator then. Yeah, that's why I was recommending to Ray if she wanted to do it. But I think Ray has more fun getting money elsewhere. That's why I'm leaning more towards doing moonshine than grime for the most part. Because sure, I can make more money while doing grime. But it's more engaging doing the moonshine. Yeah, weed selling seems pretty decent right now. Wonder how long that's going to last for. Yeah, it's a very isolating job for an RP server. I really do hope they make some changes to it at some point. I'm holding out for that. That's the reason why I haven't moved to G6 yet. It's just because I'm holding out for that. Because for me to get the rep back at Grime now, it would genuinely take me months. If I do maybe like 10 G6 runs, I'm probably going to lose all my rep in Grime. And that will take me months to get back. And I know that I'm going to get a felony at some point, so I won't be able to do G6 forever. At least with Grime, it's something I can consistently do if I do need money. But if I do desperately need money for something, that's there for me to do. How much for this car? This car was about 23,000. No, 25,000. Wasn't too bad, to be honest. Besides size that job is to be a lumberjack? I don't know. At least the lumberjack participates to the rest of the server. That's another thing with Grime. Grime doesn't participate anything else to the server. Like with G6, you get like robs. That's like part of being with the server. You get the blueprints for the keypads. You get the cards. Whereas Grime, you get money. That's it. It's just a very unconnected job. I've just got such a sunken cost fallacy with it that I can't leave it now. It would take me forever. And I do know, like, one of the only reasons I'd move to G6 is so I could hang out with people more. Because Max is kind of on his own a lot of the time. And G6 would, could be, would be a good opportunity to hang out with people. But I know a lot of those people that we, we would hang out with aren't going to be at G6 forever. 
Like, maybe if it was two months ago, maybe I'd make that change. But now, I think a lot of people are on the edge of quitting G6. Or, you know, going to do more crime. So it's just not worth putting the time investment in there. I'd rather keep the grime job and then just help those people out if they need money in the future. It's nice having, having grime as the option. I think that's the right way to phrase it. I like having it there as an option if I do need to make money. Well, if they grind pays off for something else. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that too. Same with Moonshine. Moonshine has a reputation system, but doesn't do anything right now. But maybe at some point it will. Boom, 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 boom. How's my rep doing with this dude? Three. Nice. I said, I think the tipping point for G6 will be when Yuno leaves it. Like, once Yuno gets his first felony, I think a lot of people will be leaving G6. I could see that being the tipping point. Bar may be Ember because she's still pretty new to the city and new to G6. Whereas everyone else has been doing it for like three plus months at this point. And was, someone asked earlier why I went into Grime rather than G6. It's because like, the inner hipster in me wanted to do something that everyone else wasn't doing. I thought it'd be a good idea to diversify since everyone that we knew was doing G6. Part of me regrets that, but you know, is what it is. I will say one thing. Grime has definitely allowed Max and Timothy to get closer, which is nice. Their relationship has definitely improved with Grime. Boom, boom, boom. Why isn't that not... Why isn't that moving? Hold on. And move that there. Yeah, we'll see how things work out in the future. I think what will become a big social job for Max is when fishing comes in. I can't wait to go fishing with people. Because one thing I... I mean, it's both a thing that Max struggles with and, you know, to an extent I kind of struggle with, is I struggle just kind of hanging out with people unless we have a reason to hang out. Like, just casually hanging out is something I kind of struggle with. And that, you know, Max kind of struggles with too. I always feel there's got to be, like, a reason to hang out. Whether it be making money or, like, have an activity we can go to, go do together. It's difficult just to hang out to hang out. I always feel like I've got to be productive doing something. Are the one free stacked? Yeah, I, I think my theory might be correct about the stacking. I think the stacks are when it's the same location and the same selling price. Which means that maybe there's some there that are the same location, but not the same selling price. It's why I need to get good with my organization, because then I can find that out. I mean, technically, I could buy another storage right now. Just be all my money. Let's make our way back to the house. I, mean, I do enjoy when we can just hang out on Max. It's just difficult. It's like, you know, we could go hang out with the people at G6 still while they're doing the G6 runs. It just feels awkward because, like, Max is just sitting there doing nothing. It's why the Liquid Library was good because that would be a place to hang out, but I'd still feel productive because, you know, I was doing work there. Same with the coffee shop. That's why the coffee shop's good. A lot of the time, it is just sitting there talking to people. But I still feel productive. Because, you know, I'm doing the coffee job. Let's see how things work in the future. Max just needs to get better at asking people to hang out. Rather than waiting for them to ask him to hang out. We'll improve in time. Oh, good, oh, good. Yeah, maybe we could get another storage today. It just would genuinely be all of our money right now. I do have a lot of dirty money, though. I got like 13k in dirty money. 
Timothy has offered to clean that all for us. All good, all good. A fishing death will be fun. When fishing comes out, I will do a 24-hour fishing thon. Where we do nothing but fishing for 24 hours. I will get maximum fishing rep day one. I've been waiting for fishing for months at this point. Screw the casino. I want fish. That's what I want. Fish. I just think fishing will be a very, like, chilling experience. Like, a very chill experience for us to do. I will get a fishing outfit as well. There is a good fishing vest in the premium store. Low-key one of the reasons why I wanted to buy the premium store stuff. They have a good fishing vest. Marty's Casino is opening up today. I'm not going to go though because it still feels kind of awkward between Max and Marty. Wait, is the mayor elections already over? Wait, what? Hold on. Let me just get parked up. Last day for... Oh, applications end today. Got you, got you. Okay. I was going to say, it doesn't feel like it's been that long. Boom. All right, let's go throw all this in storage and hope that hopefully it stacks more. Oh, sorry to hear about that, MP. Max ever run for mayor again? Nope. Max is done with the state and, and government in general. He got screwed over hard by the government multiple times. He's not even going to vote. He doesn't even vote anymore. Is then that stacked in there? Yeah, I got a lot that I got to go sell, Jesus. I really need to get Eli in on this. This could be a really good way for Eli to make money. No stacking in here. Nope, no stacking in here. Yeah, maybe we should go get that storage. Damn, okay. And then this one here. I think my theory might be correct. Because there's no way there's this many locations. It's got to be based on the price of it. Let's see. Anyone selling storage? Store? Nope. For... Pigeon selling furniture, but I don't know if he's got... Hold on, let me see. Storage... No one advertising right now. Okay, that's fine. How are we doing stack-wise, though? Have we got any big stacks right now? <laughs> you know, probably won't run for mayor again in the future. Oh, I still do have some moonshine on me. I didn't realize. Yeah, I've got some decent stacks going on here now. Like, five stack, five stack. Maybe we work through the fives and the fours. Oh, a six stack. Jesus. Yeah, we definitely need to start working through this today. We'll wait until the cook that we just got on is done, which is in 20 minutes. Stack it up and then go do some runs. Okay, then we'll go store the rest of this.
Boom, boom, boom. The, oh my god, am I running out of storage again? Am I even, is another crate even going to give me that much more storage for this? Another crate definitely at least will help with organization. Oh my god, okay, let's see. Can I put it in the washing basket? One bottle in the washing basket, okay. One in, oh, I can put two in there, hold on. Let's see. It's going to be interesting who wins the next mayor election. I think Marlowe definitely has a decent shot. But also, I hope he realizes how, like, damaging that could be to your reputation being the mayor. You're going to make a lot of enemies. But even though I was mayor during a small, like, very quiet time on the server when the server was never even full. Like, when I was mayor, the server was, like, half capacity most of the time. Nowadays, it's always full, so you're going to have a lot of issues to deal with. Able to get more storage? What do you mean? I mean, th this isn't like taking storage or anything away from us. We still got plenty of room down here for more. Now, my idea right now is basically... Eh. I'm going to put another crate underneath this one. Like, there's two moonshine crates you can get. I'm going to put the big one underneath and then the small one on top. And hopefully I'll be able to access both of them. Then organize through that. So let's see how this doing. Do a little top up. Ah, slowly making our way through all the cash in here. Slowly. I'm sure Timothy has plenty more money to put in here though. Elma has storage inside. Oh, you mean that way. Okay. Yeah, we're not that desperate for storage. It's just right now until we get the big storage is, is, the, is what we need. And for that, we need a large crate. Is Kettle? No, I don't think Kettleman's around. Pigeon's probably busy with the casino stuff. Uh, furniture? No. Yeah, we need a large crate, which is about 10k. I mean, I could just use the opportunity to make more money. Only 11k and that will basically deplete my bank account. At least I get the money cleaned. Which hopefully Timothy can help us with. Eek. Again, we've got like 13k in this storage up here alone. Yeah, 12,799. They've got an extra 500 downstairs too. In one of the storages. we got a lot of money to work through. Let's see. So how long for the moonshine's done? 17 minutes. Okay. We could always try and get started on a little bit of organization. Let me have a look at what this moonshine's... Uh, uh. Let's see. Exactly. We're getting so much dirty money through this house right now. Honestly, that's why I need to get a good spreadsheet going. A good spreadsheet will really help out with that. So five, five, six. Let's get the fours as well. Four, four, four. Let's see. So what locations we got here? Okay. That's Polito. This one is. Sandy. The sixth one, the big one, is... Grapeseed. Okay, that's good. That's a bit more low-key. This one is... So it'd be so much handier being able to get a storage up north. The, the painful thing right now is I want to play it careful and not have too much on us, but that means, like, constantly coming back to the house, heading back up north, Back to the house up north. It'd be so much easier having a storage up north. Oh, yeah, there's another four stack there. 
But I'd want to work through like the big ones like these ones, come back, get the three ones, come back, and so on and so forth. God, that's a lot there. Okay, we'll put those back for now. Let's see, what can we get done in 17 minutes? Move there, move back there. I don't have any more cash on me, do I? Nope, all good. The organization's gonna be a big pain. I, mean, I can see if Kettleman's around. I don't know if he is, if he's not in the yellow pages. Nah. Yeah, they're the only ones that I know that sell the big storage. I think it's a pretty rare blueprint, the big storage. They're also going through a lot of those big storages too, so it's a high sought after commodity. Let me dump this. Skirt. I do think it's worth us investing more money in laundry machines at some point. It's just I don't want to be the one to make that investment. I'm going to leave that to other people to invest into. I think considering the amount of dirty money we are getting through in the house now, it would be worth it. Like, Ray's making a lot, I'm making a lot, Timothy's making a lot. It would be worth it. It's just an extra investment. And as you can see, I've already invested a lot of money in that place. It's why new people moving in would be good, because that means they're going to have a buy-in that goes towards me to pay for some of the furniture, which would be kind of nice. But I really don't know what the status of that is anymore. No one's really talked or mentioned it. So I don't even know if it's even happening anymore. I'm kind of leaving it to Ray and Kitty for the most part because it was their idea. All I wanted to do was just make sure that we at least ask everyone in the house beforehand. Other than that, I don't know what the status is. And we still don't have Gigi's say on it, actually. Hold on, let me, uh... Let me just check the thing, make sure that she hasn't put anything down just yet. Let's have a look, see? Any extra comments? Bulletin board. You know, she's still the only one that hasn't given any sort of comment on the react on the uh the post. Let's see, is she around? Giovanni Gigi Costello. Hello, this is Gigi. Hey Gigi, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Doing good, doing good. Just having a bit of a chill Saturday at the moment. Ooh, nice chill Saturday. Getting up to anything specific? Ah, uh, you know, a bit of moonshine. That's kind of it. Oh, how's that been? Yeah, it's been pretty good. Still kind of getting into it. A lot of uh, organization i got to do for it. Yeah, it seems like... Is there, like, a lot of steps to it? Uh, well, there was initially to get, like, the perfect recipe, but I've got the perfect recipe now. So mm, now it's just like organizing the bottles and everything to make it more efficient. Oh, nice. That seems fun. Yeah, so it's something to do. Better than doing grime all day. Yeah. So we do that for so long. But uh, I, I wanted to ask you about the roommate stuff, but what your opinion on it was. Oh, I pretty much told the others that I don't really mind uh, at all. Honestly, I, I don't really mind people... Uh, since it's like people coming in and out, like if people want to hang there, I don't see the, the wrong in that whatsoever. Alrighty. But obviously, I also expressed my concern as far as like, I don't really know certain people as mm. far as like close relationships flies. Um, and I just hear like a bunch of people are moving in. It's just like, I barely even know April. You know what I mean? Like I, I still am trying to get to even know April. And... And I, and I hear, like, you know, most of, like, people, like, most of her sisters and families kind of moving in and plus other people from other family groups and then 
other people may feel like, why, why, why wasn't I kind of invited kind of thing. So mm. I think that'd be like the only concern. But as far as everything else, I don't really care. Okay. I don't, I don't think it, I don't that think it matters. That isn't a guaranteed list because I, I called mm -hmm. January and apparently no one had even talked to him about it. So Really? Yeah, so it's not mm. a guaranteed list or anything. There's also yeah, a buy-in, which I don't, might deter yeah. some people. I don't mind January. January, I kind of know a little bit-ish. I see more rounds than the other faces. Mm. Um, So, um, like I said, I don't really... And then the whole L situation with the whole Lottie thing. I don't even know if she spoke to Lottie, apparently, because she was supposed to move in with her, but she never said anything, but was agreed to move in with us. So, I don't know about that whole thing. Got you. Okay. Yeah, so... Just hope there's like no like drama as far as certain people that decide to move in or want to, you know. Yeah, we don't need any more of that. Yeah. <laughs> Less, especially since it is going to be quite a big cast, like twelve people. Less drama, Absol the better. Yeah, it's going to absolutely. Things. And I, I do agree with the whole buy-in as well too. So. Yeah, I think it's fair since we all did pay money, and you know, be mm -hmm. nice to get some money back from the furniture. Yeah. Hey. All right, so well, I just wanted to double check with you. I wanted to make sure yeah. that everyone was okay before we went forward with it. No, yeah, I appreciate you asking, but yeah, um, that's that's my thoughts and pros and cons and my pains on it. Hmm. I think it's all fair. Well, yep. well uh, I'll see what's next. Is Katie kind of leading the charge? We're just going to check with her, see what's the next step. Yeah, yeah okay. All right, see. Well, all right. I'll uh, catch you in a bit. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, so she did give a yes then. Okay. I don't know what's next. I, I don't know how we even move forward with this, to be honest. Do we now just, like, invite them? Because that's everyone giving the, the okay for him. Uh, let's get to the moonshine spot, then we'll call Kitty. I said, I'm not even too sure if everyone even knows they're getting invited i get that january only just came back to town but i don't know why she was on the list if no one had even asked her assumptions are what got max into the issue with the whole debt stuff to begin with Why I like making sure with everyone and call them and check, see how they're doing. Miscommunication is the biggest cause of every problem in the city. Yeah, things I know that a lot of them are moving into another house now too. So I don't know what's going on. Because initially, isn't that the reason why Ray was going to invite them? is because they didn't have a home. But now September, Lottie, Hazel, and Queenie all have a house. So I don't really know what's going on there. Now, for those who don't know, basically, Lottie, Hazel, Queenie, and September have all joined a group together with uh, Mayumi and Rod, and they have a house for that group. So basically, it's whether or not they'd even spend time at the girls' house or if they would spend more time there. Which is the whole reason why we're inviting more people is because we want more people to, you know, do that. It, it, it's, it's complicated. It's very complicated. Yeah, it might, I, I feel like because no one's even mentioned anything about it, I'm not even sure if it is happening anymore. But I haven't heard anyone in the house talk about it for like a week at this point. Let's see. Let's call Kitty. See if Kitty Dream is about. No Kitty. Okay. What would be the next step then? Is, is it worth us talking to the other people that may be getting invited? And see if they are still interested? Let me just check on these. But also, I feel like maybe I'm doing... Maybe I should just leave this to... Kitty and Ray to sort out. Because it was their idea initially. 
So maybe it would be worth us just leaving it to them. I'm sure K Kitty's probably heard about them joining a group. Go with the flow, exactly. Go. We'll talk to Kitty and then, then go from there, see what's going on with it. It would definitely be nice to have more life inside the house. But I'm also a little bit skeptical because I'm not sure if inviting more people will bring more life to the house. But ultimately, what, what is the biggest detriment to the house right now is the whole parking situation. That is the biggest detriment to the house. And has been basically since the beginning. That's the reason why Kitty doesn't wake up at the house. And for a while, that's the reason why Gigi didn't wake up at the house. I, I think, don't think even Eli wakes up at the house. He wakes up at the apartments to get his car too. That is generally the biggest detriment. She didn't like the location. Yeah, the location isn't the best. It's just there's nowhere else to move right now. We could move to Mirror Park, but that isn't like our dream location. I should have brought the extra fruit up. Damn it. Yeah, it's okay. All good. I want to move to Vinewood, but that's probably way, way down the line. Because you've got to think, everyone that's going to be moving in is G6 people, and that's nowhere near G6. Like, with G6 people, they wake up in the middle of the night to go do a G6 run, then fall back asleep. With that, they'll want to have easy access to their car to be able to do that. Like, G6 people want to be able to wake up and instantly go to G6. So I'm not too sure having to make that run is going to be very appealing to them. I mean, hopefully maybe some more public parking opens up nearby. But we'll see. This should just be about four more minutes. It would definitely be nice to have some more life. Just got to see if it would work in the long term. I'm still of the opinion that, you know, I, I still want to get a house up north, personally. I'm still probably going to do that. Also, let me do Civ 2. I still probably will get a house up north, no matter what happens. I don't think the girl's house will go anywhere anytime soon, for the most part. Even if people do leave. I don't think anyone's going to fully leave for a while. But even though Ray is up in the fun house more often now, I don't think she's ever going to, like, fully leave the girl house. Same with Timothy, too. Even if he's in with the guild, I can still see him hanging out at the girl's house. Same with April, Kitty. Gigi, I think, kind of comes and goes for the most part. But that's because the house is right next to her gang's house. There was definitely a little bit of dooming going on. Max definitely doomed a little bit, too. Like with the drinking and everything. But you're not exactly a rational thinker when you're drinking. Those two things don't exactly go hand in hand with each other. I don't know. I, I like the idea that the girls' house is going to be there for a while. Like, even if, say, like, April and Ray go out of the city for a while, I like the idea that they can come, ha come back and still have the house be there. Like, just a, a constant thing they can have in the city when they come back and visit. Same with, like, Timothy, too. Yeah, safety net, exactly. Even if everything goes tits up with the gang they're in, they still have the house there. Yeah, like, say, you know, maybe tomorrow the guild disbands and Timothy no longer has the guild to go with. You know, go li he can no longer live with the guild. He'll still have the girl house there. Murphy and Link are looking. I've got... Is, is Link dating Olga? Because our friend Olga's moving into a place in Polito soon. I think they're dating? I'm not 100% sure on that. But they, they want to move in the house that I was looking at in Polito. Which was this one here. The one in the center. Polito Procopio Drive. I really like this house. Both the style, location, ocean view, four parking spaces... I think renovations to the fun house would be good. Yeah, 
be interesting if they could make the fun house into an actual house though as in like you know you can wake up there change clothes there that sort of stuff a duplex oh okay I love the idea of there being more things up north. The funhouse being one of them. Like, the clowns can really help make Grapeseed into a popping spot in the city. He's trying to. It'd be cool to see if he's able to make that happen. Like, Grapeseed has so much potential in it that it's just never utilized. So I really do hope they add some level of support there. Maybe like some other things in Polito too. Uh, or Grapeseed. Oh, there we go. There's my moonshine alarm. Let's see. Is it all ready? I wish him the best of luck with it. It definitely would be a good addition to the area. Boom. Boom. And boom. Boom, boom, boom. Hopefully some businesses can open up north too. Like, I still love the idea of opening up a saloon in Grapeseed. I show you the location I think would be perfect for it. Is there still a rule that you need Jaeger's permission to buy a house there? I don't think so. Jaeger has, it hasn't been consistently around for like two, three months now. I don't think Little Sanguine is much of a thing anymore. At least from my understanding. I, I don't think the guild is trying to enforce that. And they're the ones that are more often up there. Oh, I'm good. Hey, this car actually really handles nice. Better acceleration, better speed. This thing could actually be kind of a sleeper. Well, I think the kitty issue was not to do with the guild. It's more so to do with the HOA, right? But the HOA disbanded. I think the, the HOA or whatever they became has now officially um, disbanded. So it is just the guild up there now. Oh, so it's that building there. The, the one on the corner here. That one there, I think would make an amazing saloon. Like this whole street here really reminds me of an old western town in general. Like, or even that building there, the farmer's market. That would make a pretty decent like saloony sort of vibe. But this just whole stretch of town here is so old western sort of vibe. I love it. In a previous server that I was on, one of the buildings there was a bank, and I think another one was a barbershop too. So it's definitely possible to make changes to this area. It's just, you know, what changes are made. I think that building there would make a really cool saloon. I hope one day I can make it happen. Maybe one day. Yeah, we'll see. I know Suda used to have her business in Grapeseed too. I mean, I've always been a fan of this gas station as well. Like, this gas station will always hold a special place in my heart because in the previous server I was on, I ran this gas station for about two years, two IRL years on one of my characters. I spent a lot of time in this area. It's why I do, it's part of the reason why I do like Grapeseed so much is because I have spent so much time here. This was called Robot Retail back in the day. I know a lot about this building. There's a lot of explosives around here. Let me show you all the explosives. So you've got one, two, those two there. You've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve around the building here. Then if you go across the road. If you include across the road, you've got 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Is it 17? I could have swallowed there used to be more. Okay, 17. Roughly about 17 explosives around this area alone. 
Grapeseed in general has a lot of explosives around it. I used to have like little meetings in this little bus here too. This is one of my favorite meeting spots. You know, I'd sit down like on this side, the other person would sit down on the other side. It's a nice little meeting spot. Same with this little, little bridge here. I always thought that maybe like um, some moonshine distilleries down here would be kind of good. Now, this could be a pretty decent moonshine area, I'm just saying. A little bit too open though, I think. I think it'd be too easy for this to be discovered. But, you know, it is possible. Or maybe even behind that building there could be some good spots for Moonshine distilleries. Grapeseed in general has a lot of cool hidden spots. Maybe someday they'll all be expanded upon. Yeah, this is a new car. Got it last night. Well, even like this location up here could be decent for some moonshine spots. Like, you know, this little... Like, in here. Like, maybe like a row of moonshine spots in here would be kind of cool. This would actually make a really cool moonshine lab. Just gotta hope that no police officer just, you know, drives by and sees it. Well, the smoke isn't as bad as it used to be. The, the smoke is a lot more key than what it used to be. Yeah, it is very close to the street, so there's definitely a bit of risk there. But sometimes risk can be fun. Sometimes, not all the time. Alright, let's head to the moonshine spot and get this moonshine turned into deliverable moonshine. Then I might go do some moonshine runs. We'll do a quick sweep through Sandy and see if there's any police up this way. I doubt there would be, but you never know. Yeah, definitely getting a good turbo on this would be good. But improving the, the handling is really good, so improving the acceleration would actually be really good. It'd be a very nice change. A better top speed wouldn't be too bad either. So kind of got to choose between the two. Doesn't seem to be any PD. It's a tad bit noisy too. Yeah, I love the style of classic muscle cars too. Much better than the... Well, I mean, modern muscle cars are pretty decent too. But I think for... Oh! For Max, the uh, classic thing just kind of suits him better. Yeah, I could invest some money into a turbo now. It's just finding who's selling one. I wonder if CG has any turbos. No, I, I doubt they ever would. That could be a good spot for Moonshine. Time for a sick drift. Okay, that was kind of sick. Still getting used to the shifting stuff. I just like this as a cruising car. If I was and I told just sitting in her pockets, oh god. If she has that sitting in her pockets, that's never gonna go anywhere. It's gonna be a repeat of the whole what was it, prefab thing that she had in her pockets for months? The pre-built thing. Yeah, this is full manual, not sequential. But I'm tempted to get a sequential in it. Boom, boom.
Do, 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 do. Here you go, sir. Now, is that a moldy repair kit over there? Or is that a good one? I'm assuming it's probably moldy. It's got a little bit of juice left in it. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> I want to repair my goddamn windows. Too much. Damn it. Worth a shot. Boom. Let's see, is anyone selling turbos in the yellow pages? Turbo. 57 turbos. Ooh. Actually, you know what we could do? I think we've got like a... What have we got? We, we, we've got a turbo in the Glendale right now. I really don't think having a turbo in the Glendale is too useful. We could swap to. I forget what turbo I've got in there, though. I think I've got like an 83. I feel like it's going to do more in this than in the Glendale. Oh, so is that everything? Maybe it'd be worth, like, just taking it out and putting it in, in here instead. Maybe actually, let's go do that, actually. It's not like we need the Glendale to be a speed demon. Plus, it's a Glendale. <laughs> Uh, let's head back to the house, then maybe we'll go do that. Just because I do want to try and make this into a good speed. I, I, I want this to be like a good speedy car. Like, the Glendale is more so when we're hanging out with lots of people. This is more Max's solo car. Well, the thing is, I've just been driving the Glendale for like, what, four months now? It's nice to drive something a bit different. It would be nice to drive a different car for a while. Especially since Max doesn't have as many people he, ha he like, drives around anymore. Like, back when, like, April needed him, Ray needed him, the, the Glendale was a lot more useful, but he's not needed for that anymore. He's a lone wolf now, drifting in the wind. This is the Phoenix, this car. Yeah, Ray's SUV's insane. <laughs> the thing is, all the cars got nerfed recently, so I can't imagine what that car was like before the nerf. Like, I think every car like got redu like, reduced like 30 miles per hour or something like that. So I wonder what the car was like before that. Oh, so I just feel cool driving this car. Yeah, let's go get the turbo. I, I want to do the turbo change now. Hopefully there's a mechanic there that can help us out. I'm pretty sure I've got like an 83. Because I, I, I had a 97 in the Glendale initially. Then I put the 97 in my Packer instead. Which honestly I don't think was the right choice. But an 83 in this would be pretty decent. So there's an 83 in the Glendale right now. But it might be better in this. And as I said before, having a turbo in a Glendale is just a little bit overkill. I've mainly changed the colors of, on this. There isn't much customization to this car. There's a few spoilers you can choose from, but I'm not much of a spoiler dude. I'm not the biggest fan of the way spoilers look. And boop. 
The colors definitely look better now that I've changed it back to Mac Black. The gold is starting to stand out a bit more now, too. Ooh. Boom, let's go store this moonshine. Let's see. Let's see how many of these stack. No stack. No stack. No stack. 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 No stack. Okay. Let's go to the other storages. Okay, we've got so much money in moonshine right now. I think we've got roughly about 15k worth of moonshine to sell right now. I need to get a better system for this. Getting Eli in on this would be perfect. I really want to see if he'd be interested in helping me out with this. I want him to be my Jesse so bad. I don't think the spoilers actually have any sort of effect. I'm more of a style guy than a performance guy anyway. That's why I always go for style over performance, because you can nerf performance. You can't nerf style. Unless you're Glorion. Where your car, the entire car gets changed. Like literally the model gets changed in the middle of the night. Yeah, I go. Okay, so am I out of space again? Okay, yeah, I think my theory is correct about this. There's no way there's that many spots for moonshine. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. I definitely need this other storage too, my god. Once you have the other storage, it should be a lot better. Right now, it's a little bit chaotic. Yeah, it's all over the house right now. I gotta start selling. Also, we need food soon too. Boom. Let's see how the casino opening's going. Right, let's go see if there's anyone at the area real quick. I'm gonna leave my car parked here for now. Do do. I'm not, I'm not going to twat out that I'm selling moonshine. Maybe if I go down the clown route, maybe. Because that would be kind of funny. So how do these kind of look like next to each other? Low fuel. Are you kidding me? Okay. First step. Let's call some tow person. Uh, he has the okay let's have a look see tow anyone that we know doing tow right now I ain't trusting Kyle seven Sloan I just wonder if Sudi's around right now Let's see. No Sudi, okay. I know a lot of people that have tow trucks. I just gotta remember who. Does Timothy have one? Yeah, Timothy should have one. He's the one that did this. No, okay. Okay, let's call Seven instead. I know Seven. He used to be one of my employees. Interesting. He used to be in the clowns, too. I guess he left.
Seven Pullman, how can I help you? Hey, Seven, how you doing? Oh, hey, Max. What's up? Uh, are you doing tow at the moment? Yes, I am, sir. How can I help you? I just pulled my car out and it's out of fuel, so I was wondering if I get a tow to a gas station. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what's your ping? Actually, I, uh, I think I need to I, you. You, you, you yeah, 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 yeah. I, I always reverse them. Three, four, <laughs> six. Hold on, give me a second. Take your time. There we go. Did you get that? Yippers. Perfect. I will be there shortly. All right. See you in a minute. Oh, I'm actually right down the road from you. Oh, easy peasy. I'll see you in a second. Yippers. Bye bye. Bye bye. You know, uh, Seven used to be one of my employees at the Liquid Library, but I also think he was either in the clowns or very close to the clowns. Don't know if he is anymore, though. I know he used to hang out with him a fair bit. Hey there. I don't really know what happened. I don't know how a kit got out of fuel. I've, that's happened several times. I've had to do several tows about that. Yeah, I think it just happens sometimes. It's weird. Yeah, probably the locals coming by and siphoning. Yeah, there's a very good chance of that. Locals do be localing. Facts. I had gone to the hospital and one ran me over as I left the hospital. Oof. Yeah, they don't have a care in the world. Not in the slightest. Been. I've been pretty good, pretty good. I mean, uh, you know, trying to keep myself busy, same as everyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and how's the tow stuff been? Oh, not too bad when, uh, when Tom's not being a jackass. Oh, right. I, I see a lot of people that do this job now. Yeah, it's, it's honestly very relaxing. Hmm. That was decent money too, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Get between uh, two ninety and four hundred a job. Hey, it's not bad at all. Nah, I can usually make about thirteen hundred an hour. All right, closest gas station. Should be Strawberry, I believe. Uh, Strawberry. I was gonna say there's the but one by the hospital. Yeah, yeah. Over yeah. under the alarm. Okay. Yeah, 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 that's Strawberry. Okay. Take I'm... down a weird route though for some reason. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna... You know where you're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surprisingly, got two Mosley's deliveries back-to-back -to -back today. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, imagine it's very hectic first day, but it's probably slowed down quite a bit now. Yeah. They pay damn good, though. How much do they pay you for it? Uh, anywhere between 600 and 1400 per delivery, depending on your reputation with Tom. Oh, wow, that's not bad. Not at all. So I I got like $1,200 in the span of like 10 minutes. Damn, that really isn't bad. No, not at all. That's his keyboard, I believe. All right. Oh, dear. Oh. How much do I owe uh, you for this, by the way? Oh, it's on the house. You sure? I, I never charge for towing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I appreciate it. Of course. Well, actually, right, uh, let's get you. Did you have any uh, repair kits for sale at all? Oh, I do. I do. I have some Ooh. on me. How much uh, can I buy one for? Um, hang on. Hello. Let me just get What's you unloaded real quick. Hello. It's for the car on the back, not the tow truck. Okay. What's this date, lady? Uh, you got to wait until it's off. Yeah, let, I, let I, I, get... you had the mask if you lose. Excuse me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. There you go, man. Ah, perfect. All right. Yeah, hey, it's it's, it's 1107 one for, for the state ID. Okay. Wow, he is British. 11 one, one, what? Uh, 07. One, one, zero, seven. One, one, zero, seven. All right. Uh, here we go. Uh, how much is it? Oh, you can just have it. Are you sure? Yeah, absolutely. Ah, well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Of course. I'd rather get put to good use than just sit there and rust up. Ha, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, it's always handy <laughs> to have just in no, case. No, I accept the payment. So we can yep. change oh, your oh. car. Uh, didn't get the payment. You didn't get the payment. Yeah, no, if you ever need help with uh, towing or anything like that again, just give me a call. Alright, sounds good. You <laughs> Take care, Max. It was lovely right. seeing you. Yeah, it's good seeing you. Uh, if you ever need a coffee, let me know. I run the coffee shop by seeing you, buns. Ooh. 
Do you do tea too? Yeah, we've got sweet milk tea. Ooh, I would definitely take you up on that. Uh, yeah, I'm perfect. Take care, man. I take care. I, I also know to feel the first meal if has milk. There we go. Yeah, that's because you are watching me. I'll let me get them a tip. Blackfire Hero, thanks for three months. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful Goblin and Max modes as always, Blackfire. Appreciate the support. There we go. Hello. 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 Uh, here you go. Appreciate the help. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, no bye. problem. Have a lovely rest of your day. Yes, you too. Bye bye. Oh, uh, oh, there we go. Oh, good. See you. See you. It didn't have any fuel in it then. Are you sure it's that seven? Because that seven looks nothing like Ray. There's two sevens in town. You might be speaking of the other seven. Uh, let's go see if there's anyone over here at Mosley's. You can't pump your own gas, but you know, you want to support the RP they're doing there. Those dudes are okay. It's the other person that works there that's a bit of a dick. That's the person that Max isn't like. Just chilling. Mm. Hello there. Hello, sir. Welcome to Mosley's. How can I help you? I, I want to take my tub out of here and put it in my other car. Yes, sir. I can help you with that. Oh, perfect. Um, do you have the other car around already? Uh, it's just down the road. Sure. Uh, Could you please pop the hood? Oh, yes, yes, yes. There we go. What's your name, sir? Ooh, Maximilian Angel. Hey, Maximilian. I'm Eric, okay? Oh, pleasure to meet you. How's your day going so far? Uh, it's been pretty good. You thought I, uh... I uh, got myself a new car recently and thought, like, the turbo would be better in that than in this. I mean, it's just a Glendale. It doesn't need to be the speediest thing in the world. Hmm. Okay, let me unscrew. This one here is a bit rough. Okay, let me put some grease on it. Ooh, got it okay? Okay. No, it's just uh, really tight. Whoever, like, installed that thing there... They really wanted it to stick. But, oh, uh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, you kind of want to with, with those things. They're very slippery. Yeah. And, I mean, I think they did a good job. It's just that it was really hard to take take off. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll uh, come back with the other one. Like I say, only yeah, a second. Sir. It's just down the road. Yeah. Close the hood. All right. Back in a second. Yeah, so... Everyone's got such fancy cars. I'm fine with my car, though. I don't want to get a fancy car on Max for like a while. I'm happy with the car that he's got at the moment. Just wait until Timothy gets his car, though. My God. He's currently saving up for a million dollar car. The thing is, because there was no, like, you know, restock for almost three months in, at most, at least no decent restocks, most people had time to save up for really expensive cars. I'm kind of sad there was never really a period where everyone was in, like, you know, broken down, rubbish cars. Everyone kind of instantly went to the best cars they could. Kind of sad that we missed out on that era of the beginning of a wipe, because that doesn't happen later on. That only happens at the beginning of a wipe. Oh, wait, that, that's a Mosley's car. Okay. <laughs> that makes more sense. 
Ooh, oh, right. A spicy one, huh? Yeah, you know, I thought it'd be definitely better suited in this than in uh, a Glendale. Yeah, Though I do love my Glendale. Open, uh, hood, please. Oh, yep, yep, yep. No asset fees just yet, but yeah, who knows that in one's the future. Yeah, like this one's more of like a style car, hmm. while this one is more of like a performance one. Yeah, but it's nice to see how different it drives. That sort of turbo should hopefully help with acceleration. You gotta let me know mm. what this uh, stripe color is. Oh, this is gold. Well, it's a... Uh, yeah. It, I, I like, thought is it a hex code? Or oh, is yeah, it's it a hex like code. A, I, I can read it out right. to you if you like. I, I got it saved for because I do like the color. Yeah, no, I I love the color. Um, uh, let's see, where is it? There you go, sir. This one was actually quite easy. It had the perfect spot for the turbo. Oh, easy. Yeah, I think they already, you know, created the the engine and the space, thinking that people would put turbos there. So, good good choice here you made. Perfect. Yeah, I definitely will probably put more to work with this. Let me just put a note down here. Uh, that that's the hex code there that I use for it. Uh, it's right. that, and it's in a metal sort of style. Is why I chose. Okay, I got you. It's very difficult to make gold work, so it took me a while to get it. Yeah, yeah, I've been trying too, and like everything just comes out yellow instead of actually gold. Yeah, it's either yellow or poop brown. It's very difficult to mix. All right, well, I appreciate it, sir. Thank you. No, oh, no worries. I right, well, I appreciate everyone's help. I'm gonna go test this bad boy out. Oh, how much do I owe you, by the way? Um, how, how much do I owe you? That's two hundred dollars. Two hundred? Yep. Let me go get that for you. Almost left without paying there. Yeah, I'll give him a tip. I like that he was pulling in the sound effects. Three hundred. Do do. So I suspect you're gonna see the turbo kicking in once you cross the, you know, the seventy miles uh, um, range. Ooh, okay. That's when you're gonna start to see like the biggest improvement in performance. Yeah, I might go so ahead down keep, the highway. Keep an eye out. Yeah. Do a bit of highway blast and see how different it feels. Yeah, just keep in mind, huh? 70s. In the 70s, you should, you know, feel the, the turbo kicking in. 70s, okay. Yeah, yeah, it should perform much better after that. And then it's going to take you to the to the top speed faster than it used to be. Perfect. I'll have to see. Yeah, it definitely did take a little bit to get there. But hopefully this will be an improvement. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's the top speed? Do you know already? About like 120, 130. It's not like the speediest nice. of cars. I mm. think it's pretty decent. It handles it five quite gears? well. Uh, six. Ah, no, that's good, man. All right. And I like the style. It's like a, somewhere between modern and old. Yeah. And it's I, like a muscle car. I'm more of a fan of the classic muscle than the modern mu muscle, personally. Hmm. All right, well, again, I appreciate the help. No worries, brother. Have a good one, huh? Stay safe. You as well. Go. Hello. Vin. We already asked you. Oh. Here we go. We... I guess one more break. I can't see a goddamn thing. Okay, all good. There we go. All good, all good. Joining the crew? Which crew? Max is potentially joining uh, May and Rod's crew. He's giving them a soft yes right now. Just because they're not going to be getting started anytime soon. Like, since they're all still G6 workers, it's not going to be getting started anytime soon. So it's a soft yes for now. See how things work out. So I'm going to give this a quick repair. Actually, I'm going to park this real quick. And then we'll go take it out. Yeah, no clue if there's going to be car asset fees in 4.0. There's none just yet. Who knows? 
Yeah, it's pretty much the G6 crew. Everyone that's in that little G6, uh, like, friend group is joining that gang. That uh, crew, sorry. Yes, yeah, Queenie, Hazel, Ember, I think Twinkles, Lottie. It really is everyone in that group. They probably, to begin with, will be referred to as the G6 crew. Or the G6 gang. I think they could probably use maybe recruiting some more people that aren't in G6. Oh, no. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Don't tell me it's glitched. Once again. Come on. No. Well, I'm going to try taking a nap. Sometimes that fixes this. I haven't seen this happen in ages. Okay, let's try this. Take a quick nap. This used to be a glitch that affected me quite a bit, but it hasn't affected me in a while. Let's see. Yeah, G6 plus Rod at the moment. I feel like that that group of people in G6, though, are kind of like at the end of their G6 cycle now, though. Like they've been doing it solidly for like three, four months now. I imagine sooner rather than later they're going to be changing. It's why I'm not really that, like, wanting to invest time in G6. Because that's the main reason I'd want to, is to spend time with them. But they're probably going to move on at some point. Except September, yeah. September's still pretty new. And the thing is, I can see September going along with people to go do some crime stuff with that crew and then eventually getting a felony because of it. I mean, January was all about G6 too, but she's getting dipping her toes into crime now. Granted, she has been around a bit longer. I wouldn't say her main personality is G6. Just she, she enjoys G6. You gotta remember, September is br completely brand new to RP. And G6 is a really good way for new RPers to get more comfortable with the server. Because it's a good way to meet new people. Meet new people with a common thing to talk about. G6. I'm sure she'll move on in due time. I did try and get her into grime, but I do think G6 was better for her. And now we don't even hang out. If we give a tour to a new foos any time in the future, we cannot show them G6. I don't think G I, I don't think April will be happy if the majority of the foos is in town with G6 grinders. But like I said, it is good for people that are new to RP. And I think slowly but surely she is coming out of her shell a little bit with RP. Getting more comfortable in the server. And that's good. Yeah, I've seen a few screenshots of October. It'd be interesting to see if Max and them cross paths at some point. I'm sure they will. Yeah, I don't see October and December getting into G6. Just because they're like, you know... Already comfortable with RP. They're played by two veteran RPers. I, I don't think Ray would go on October just to grind money, you know? I think Ray Mon will always be her main. AK the one making money on. I'm sure we'll cross paths at some point, though. 
It's a shame I couldn't get the limo because the the limo would be perfect for a foos day out. Completely suit their vibes. Oop. Yeah, Max met September. Max was one of the first people that September met. I was Max was the first one in her phone. Day one. That's going to offer us to join three groups now? Effectively, yeah. I think Max could effectively join any group if he wanted to. He's just got no, like, big desire to be part of a group right now. Oh, come on, please. No, I wanted to test my new turbo. No. Damn it, I wanted to test my new turbo. Or maybe like a UIR, maybe? I wanted to test my new turbo. Damn it. Damn it. Was Ray able to fix it when it happened to her? Right now I'm just filling this car. Whoa. Oh, there we go. Yippee. Yippee. Oh god, it's already feeling a bit faster. Okay, I, I, it definitely is feeling a little bit speedier. Okay, oh god. Let, okay, let's wait till we get to the highway before we start really blasting it. Yeah, this is Max's new car here. So I'm trying to zoom out my camera right now. I got a 73 turbo. It's the one that was in the Glendale. Okay, so top speed seems roughly the same. Acceleration definitely improved, though. There we go. There's the zoom out. 126. Not bad. Acceleration definitely improved. 130. One forty. Oh, one fifty. And stop. Yeah, we got seventy three, which so I think it's like a bit better acceleration. Let's hold on. I want to repair this real quick. I still have the Glendale, yeah. That's parked at the house right now. I see the Glendale becoming more of like a house car now. Anyone in the house can go and take it. Especially now there's a less of a risk with no turbo in it. Yep, this is Max's. This is Phoebe. Mm. Yeah, no, I'm never getting rid of the Glendale. It means too much. We've had that car for almost four months now. It's probably one of the oldest cars on the server. Um, God, how much does this need repair-wise? We haven't need to take this into the... Get repair soon. I have been driving it a little bit today, I guess. Oh my God, more? I wonder how the casino stuff's going. Because from what it looks like on Twitter, it's now open. Yeah, exactly. If it wasn't for that car, we wouldn't have met April, wouldn't have met Ray. I mean, there's a chance we probably could have still. 
Because I would have just been in a different car. But, you know. Tanya was there for us with all those moments. I remember when we first met Eli, he was in the trunk of Tanya. Let's high blast it back. Hold on, let's change the music. Let's go to my cruising music. Nope. Nope. Oh, I did better than that. So I'm just cycling through right now. Screw it, I'm using my getaway playlist. See if this is better. Is that music even playing? Yeah, this is fully manual. Now this is my song. Now we're driving. It's going the distance. Ooh. I'm trying to get better at using the cinematic camera too. All alone, all alone in this time of need. He's going the distance. Honestly, this definitely isn't a bad drive. I, I do actually kind of like driving this. Driving manual isn't bad. Now for the real test. Great Ocean Highway. If Max was to have like a key song for getaway driving, it would be this song, by the way. His killer track, as they say in Baby Driver. Sorry, I just really felt like giving this a full test today. We're going to go all the way around the island and give it a full test. Speed. Turbo's the main upgrade you can do. You can change wheel stances too, but it doesn't do that much.
Not too, too much anyway. Let's change song. Oh, hell yeah. This is just my getaway playlist, by the way. So these are favorite getaway songs. Let's try another one. Let's try a different one. Got to fit the vibe, you know. I'm getting used to changing the shift when doing those drifts. Let's do a quick pit stop in Polito too, I think. Hold on. No, come on. Okay, no. I'm going to pause for now. We're going to do a quick pit stop in Polito and refuel, then head back down. There's a lot of good getaway songs, though. The Distance is definitely my favorite for Max, though. I just like that song. You get a new car? Yeah. Finally got Max the muscle car, which is something I've always wanted to get on him. That looks classic. We got ourselves a nice classy one. I, I got this off stream yesterday. I got ordered it off stream yesterday thinking it'd take a day to get delivered, but then, you know, it got delivered instantly. It's not as bad as it once was. Oh, hey, Max. Hey, hey. How's it going, my man? Going good, going good, Giselle. Good, good. Just put up some signs. Oh, got you, got you. Oh, let me put one up right here. It's about 25,000, the Phoenix. Wasn't too, too bad, but not like super duper cheap either. I got it for a pretty decent price, all things considered. Mayoral election, I believe, starts next week because it closes today. Max ain't voting, though. That's now a character trait of Max's. He never votes in anything state-wise. He don't care. Max is fully against the state. He's on Jaeger's side now. I need to get a good outfit that matches this car. How much do mayors get paid? I think it's like a 1k an hour, something like that. Isn't the most, isn't the least. All right, let me eat this. Let's do a quick repair as well. Another repair. This is only cosmetic, so it shouldn't be too long, this one. There we go. Easy. Now hold on. We gotta we gotta make this super cinematic. So I gotta go HUD two? Nope. HUD one. Nope. HUD. Hold on. Mini map. Nope. Now I'm gonna get the classy outfit with Ray and Sudi. That's the idea. Right, there we go. Zoomed out. Let me change scene real quick. To... There we go. Gotta be cinematic. Right, let's go.
Now we speed. Or at least try to speed. Hopefully I can match the manual. Try my best not to crash. Oh, let's change song. What else we got? Yeah, this works. I think this suits the car better. I drive. That's what I do. I drive. It's fun to speed. I really do hope they make some improvements to the cinematic camera in GTA 6. Definitely in the easiest to use. At least we know we can get some decent speed in this now. Oh, we're good. Made it. All right. Okay. I think that's enough speed driving now. Enough speed driving for one day. Definitely get some decent speed in this, though. It's good to know. Definitely pretty decent. Probably need to take this for repair sooner rather than later. There we go. Easy peasy. Yeah, go ahead, MP. Pro probably will watch it later, though. Oh, see, I did make that mean sit. <laughs> Never got credited for it, though. I never got credit for making that meme. Someone took it and re-uploaded it and got more views. But I made it. I made it at my forge with my blood, sweat, and tears. It took me like 10 minutes, I think.
All right, let's get to work. We need to go start selling some moonshine. Probably won't do it in this car, though. No pixel is invite only, yeah. Well, not invite only, but you gotta get whitelisted for him. So it's not just you can instantly collect, connect. You gotta apply for him. Which is a lengthy process now, from my understanding. I don't know the full process because I applied back before all then. It's fun, though. I think it's definitely a, a good RP server to be a part of. Good community. I've enjoyed my time here. I was just like to point out that we didn't eject once there during all that. N didn't even eject. I only had like some very minute crashes. Just want to point that out. Compared to, you know, some drivers out there. Not naming who, but you know, some. Yeah, queue is definitely very difficult to get through as well. So even if you do get whitelisted, you still got to make your way through the queue. They've got a good system with random prio, so you can't get in ever so often. It's just not consistent. Now drive you know's car. I'd love to give you know's car a try. See, I'm not like I'm a different sort of driver to some people. Other people like going super duper fast and then like crashing. I like driving a little bit slower and then like being a bit more careful because of it. Like, you know, I don't want to point any fingers, but whenever I let Timothy... Also, I just noticed there's more money in here. God damn it. We were at like 40,000 earlier. Now we're back up to 65,000. God damn it. This boy. I swear to God, this boy. Uh, we're never making it through all this, are we? We're never making our way through all this. That boy loves selling his weed. Alright, let's get to work. So let's do four. We're just going to take the large amounts for now. Seven? Jesus. Okay. Yeah, it's the Unicard death list. I'm sure I'll be fine. You know, once Ray gets more into the weed stuff, we're gonna need, we, we do need more washing machines. But I've already spent so much money on it. I, I want to just take a break from spending money on the house for a while. I think that's fair. Do. What's the clown battle pass thing? It's just like a bunch of um, tasks you can do to get the clown experience. It's no guarantee that Max is joining the clowns because of it. It's basically just a taste of being a clown. That's effectively what it is. Oh, hold on. We need to get changed. Yeah, it'll be fun to do. We're, we're going to be doing it with Sudi and with Ray. So it'll be fun. Oh, oh. I'm good. I've always been low-key clown coded. There we go. Let's go to Cowboy. Moonshine Cowboy. I mean, you know, ever since I started streaming, my extra rules, like, below, like, just below the stream, there's a tab called Extra Rules. That, I, I if I remember correctly, that leads to the Clown Code of Conduct. That's been a bit since the beginning of my stream, like, when I started five years ago. It's been destined to be. Skirt.
Let's take our mask off. Less suspicious. Let's roll. Yeehaw! All right, let's make our way up to Harmony. Get started with this. Then we'll organize our pockets and see what route we're going to take. I think we should risk doing this all in one go. Yeah, I mean, the cowboy fit does kind of suit with this. Does Phoebe work for this as the name for the car? I was thinking of calling the car Stallion, since you know, horse and cowboy. The Stallion. I'm pretty sure the Stallion is another car. But I mean, it works for the whole cowboy thing. This is our trusty steed. I think it is a play on Mustang. It's the GTA equivalent. Oh no, that website is not linked to GTA whatsoever. It's just a random website I found ages ago. If I remember correctly, I think a viewer linked it to me. Now we speed. Yeah, definitely better top speed now with this. I think in general, better acceleration too. Still not the speediest of cars, but still. Now the, the other muscle car is definitely faster. I know, I, I think this one has decent handling to it. Like, it turns really easy, and I like doing those quick turns. Like, you know, weaving in and out of cars. I actually really enjoy doing that. One fifty. go all right let's make our way over to oh over to the garage get our moonshine selling car and get ready to go i really want to test yuno's car now oh i'm trying to get better at driving at high speed and that could be a good test One thing about this car, though, compared to the Glendale, is definitely a lot louder. The Stallion's definitely got a bit of a growl to him. Yeah, I think Stallion. I, I kind of like Stallion better than Phoebe. Tanya and Stallion. Max's two trusty sweet steeds. And Buttercup as well. Which we're about to get. Skirt. Damn. Park. All right, let's get to do, do. Let's get Buttercup. Add a Buttercup. All right, let's see. So let's see what order we're doing. So this one is. That is Harmony. So we're going to keep that up there. This one is. Polito, we'll move that to the bottom. This one is Sandy. Sandy we'll put down here. That is grape seed. Uh grape seed, where are we gonna put grape seed? Grape seed we'll put like here. 
Delivery spot. That one is Polito again. Yep, Polito. That one is Harmony. I don't think you can open up your pockets while in here. This one is Sandy. Which one was Sandy again? I think it was here, right? Yeah, that was there. This one is Sandy again. The seven one, the juicer one, is Polito. That's going to be Polito number one. Then this one is Harmony again. Okay, so we've got a few on Harmony. Let's see which order we're going to do them in. This one is... That one's going to be last. The five one is there. And this one is... There. Okay, so we do four, five, four. Let's go. Now we've got to try and be a local mess that we can here. Also, let's change the music. Let's go for. Well, let me set speed. Let's go for chill country music. Right, well, let's go. Time to sling some moonshine. Yeehaw. Yippee. What if Classy the Clown just speaks in the southern accent? Let's see. That one is... Oh, that's at the front. Oh, that's a front door one. Okay. One thirty. Boom. Five twenty. Nice, nice, nice. Let's keep going. Oh, come on. Why is that going forward? There we go. I think the next one's going to be at the motel here, right? I sure hope there's no police officers up this way. I'm still debating what voice I want to use for Class of the Clown. Let's see, number five. Oh, that's behind. Oh, okay. The Mickey Mouse voice is good, but I'm not sure if it screams classy. But it is definitely an option. Right, let's see. Move on up over here. Okay, so that's all there. Okay. I've been thinking maybe like just a bit more of a suave sort of British voice maybe a bit deeper I don't know like how would it go be like <clears throat> good evening I am classy the clown maybe some more like that I don't know I gotta, I gotta get a good voice for him I don't want it just to be the max voice I feel that's too boring Would be something a little bit different. More posh? I don't know. Can I get more posh? Well, you know, we'll get the outfit. I think the outfit's gonna help with the vibe. The the outfit's definitely gonna help like choose the voice, I think. Cause then we're gonna get a general vibe of what it's gonna be. Cause maybe the Mickey voice would suit better. Oh boy, I can't wait to have some yucking fun, huh? It's also a good excuse to do the Mickey voice, too. No plan date or anything for that just yet. 
I think the clans have a lot going on right now, so maybe when things calm down. Yeah, is that, but the thing is, does that voice scream? Does the Mickey voice really scream classy, though? As much as I enjoy doing it. It's definitely going more wacky sort of clown, the Mickey voice. Let's see. I'm more serious clown or silly? I don't know. It's got to see how things go. Let's see. Okay, that's by the dinosaur. Posh Mickey. <laughs> See, that could be funny, though. If we act serious but have an unserious voice, that could be funny. The hell is that? Also, we are way past where the drop-off was. What the heck is that? Is it like... Oh, it's that door there. Let's see. Sharp enough. Now you see, if we don't submit our tax forms by April the 15th, we're going to have some real yucking issues. Huh? And that's no funny business, huh? All right, to Sandy. The bank's going to foreclose on the funhouse, Chatterbox. Huh? We're going to lose everything. Huh? <laughs> okay, I do kind of see the appeal of that. Serious clown, but with a funny voice. I do see that appeal now. Again, we'll see once we get the outfit made. The outfit definitely will help with the vibe. The Mickey voice doesn't hurt my voice too much. Though I haven't done it for long periods before. But I don't think we'd be doing long periods of the clown stuff. Oh dear God, the mimes have kidnapped hiccups. The mimes are gonna execute hiccups, Chatterbox, huh? You gotta take this seriously. Huh? I gotta have the ha ha's at the end, though. That, that, that's a very key part of it. That's a very, very key part of it. All right, let's see. So that one is there. That one is over there. This one is over there. Okay, so move that one there. Let's go. Well, Max doesn't know much about the mime stuff. I don't even know much about him. Cass going to be around hiccups, do his own thing. Gotta wait and see. You gotta remember, Max doesn't know the clowns too well, so his introduction definitely will be around hiccups a bit. And obviously, Max like, enjoys hanging out with Ray too. So, at least at the very beginning, probably will be a lot with Ray and Sudi. The 
hand of the queen. So is the Max and April. Well, the way that I see Max, Ray, and April is a trio of best friends. They're, they're all each other's besties. The bestie trio. Well, this definitely seems a bit quieter here in Sandy today. Which is a good sign. What I mean by that is like, you know, Max's besties are Ray and April. Ray's besties are Max and April. And April's besties are Max and Ray. So it is a bestie trio. Yeah, that'd be a really fun crew to do some crime stuff with too, actually. Max, Ray, and April go do some roof running. Let's see. There's that door. No PD around. Yep, we're all good. Oh, there it goes, girl. There we go. Oh, yeah, Angie Jane Kitty, too. I mean, all the girls are really close to each other. Ooh. The question is, what is Ray's ranking of friends now? I know she had a ranked list at one point. I wonder what it is now. Hopefully, Max has made his way up that list. I say Max definitely gives Big Bro vibes. Sometimes fatherly vibes too, but last time that didn't work out too well for him. He's kind of been leaning a bit off the fatherly vibes since then. Oh yeah, Max and Timothy are as close as they've ever been. The Max and Timothy are super close now. Now, the relationship probably is better since they've aired that out. That, that was making him uncomfortable. It's a good thing that he did say it. Boom. All right, to grape seed. You know, see, now that I've actually planned the route for this, it's a lot less, like, I feel like we're doing this a lot easier today than yesterday. Now that we have, like, this actual, you know, route that we're following. I think this is how I've got to, how I've got to do it from now on. I've got to organize better. Yeah, I picked up the money. I still want to see if maybe Eli wants to help out with this, though. Uh, it could just be, uh, you know, we go along with him to do it. Like, Max drives, he does the drop-off. Or, you know, he drives, Max does the drop-off. Could be a good opportunity for Max and Eli to hang out more. They don't really get too many opportunities these days. They don't really get to see our Eli all that much. And I think Eli likes having those, like, breaks in the chaos. Well, I'm glad to hear the voice was good, Cypress. I think I am definitely leaning towards the Mickey voice. I think that's more clown-like. But, like, still being serious with it. I mean, hell, if we are leaning into the Mickey thing as well, we could have a rat mask or a mouse mask as part of the outfit. Though, I'm also thinking maybe having makeup instead.
Yeah, okay, I, th I think I'm actually going to lean towards that. Trying to do like a deeper sort of voice, things are going to get boring after a while. Mickey voice is going to be fun to do. And if you're going clown, you got to go silly. you got to go funny. Oh, this is six one. Yeah, I think makeup would be good. The issue with makeup is that it doesn't save to the outfit. It saves to the character. So each time I'd want to go clown mode, I'd have to go to the makeup store. I really hope they make a change for that at some point. Four. Oh. I feel like with the Mickey voice as well, it's going to allow me to go maybe like a tad bit more unhinged too. Which is what I kind of want to do with the clown arc. Just be a tad bit more unhinged. Row, row. Wrong door. This the door. This isn't the boom alley, no. The boom alley is the other one. It's just a bit more down the road. Nice, 700 bucks. Yep. Oh boy. I can't wait to go grind some grime. Uh -huh. Please shoot me. That's the old torture chamber, yeah. Don't think it's there anymore, though. Boom Alley is that alley over there. Loads of propane tanks there. All right, time to make our way up to... Pol oh, I know. Actually, we're going to go a different route to Polito. I like going off-road to Polito. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to make it up the hill, too. The clown stuff will happen when I think there's less things going on with the clowns. Because at the moment, they're pretty busy with a lot of different things. I think they've got the mime stuff going on. They've got the bonbon stuff going on. So maybe when that calms down, we'll get the clown battle pass. We'll see, though. It's just whenever Sudi and Ray want to do it, to be honest. Max very rarely ever has plans that can't be changed. So he's down to do it whenever. So let's take up the speed. I'm curious how the casino opening went. I didn't see many people talking about it on Twitter, so I don't know how it went. mainly goes with the flow for max a lot of the time he finds himself stuff to do rather than being given stuff to do he's, he's pretty independent in that way though it is nice to have some stuff to do with people too capable of coming down maybe depends on the situation i guess he's not someone that quickly goes to violence and that's probably never going to change All it takes is one bad day, huh? Try to speed it slow down the Mickey voice. How do I speed slow it down? Oh boy, I can't wait to have some fun. Ha uh ha. -huh. Welcome to the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Ha uh ha. -huh. Yeah, I think that's even more creepy than anything. <laughs> not, not too clown that one. This is my fun house now, Chatterbox. Ha uh ha. -huh. Ow. 
<laughs> I got distracted. Listen, I gotta have the haha. -ha. We're done when I say we're done. Ha ha. I am the danger. Ha ha. See, that could definitely be fun if we go down the creepy route with him. Do a goofy voice? I can't do a good goofy. Gosh, Mickey. That's pretty messed up. I can definitely do a better Mickey than a Goofy. Speed of the voice depends on the mood. That could be a fun bit. I, I definitely like the idea of maybe changing it up ever so often. I think that's the key to a good impersonation, though, is being able to adjust the voice rather than just do the voice as is. How's your Donald? I can't do a good Donald. Who is it that did a good Donald with us once? It was K9, right? Baloo Bulls? His Donald killed me. I miss Baloo. Hopefully one day he returns. And since Timothy didn't want to get adopted, we can adopt him instead. You know, slow Mickey voice would definitely be more of a creepy one. I think regular Mickey voice for the most part. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer to... Uh -huh. All right, where are we going? Where, where do we start this? Let's see. Let's see. Seven. Where's the juicer? Okay, that's over there. Oh, I did organize it, didn't I? So we go start over here. Well, that is on the battle pass. It's prank calling people. So I would have to prank call people with the Mickey voice. Hey there, would you want to join my clubhouse? Ha uh ha. -huh. Hold on, let me park up better. But I, I like the idea of doing the Mickey voice, but being more serious with it. I think that's going to be fun to do. Chatterbox, a second oil tanker has hit the fun house. Huh? The mimes are at the fun house. They've all got guns. Oh, God. Huh? Well, no, actually, it'd be funnier if the haha -ha is the same every time, no matter what. I, I'd be completely sad, but then have the same haha. -ha. Oh god, Chatterbox! They killed everyone! Everyone's dead! Uh huh? Okay, I'm, bu I'm building Classy here. You guys are helping me build Classy. I think it's gonna be, the, the clown arc's gonna be fun. I'm very much looking forward to that. Yeah, that is very clown, exactly. I, I think that's keeping it like the same every time feels very clown. Here we go. We adjust myself, but easy get out. Make sure. It, listen, I'm just looking forward for an opportunity to play Max less seriously. I'm very much looking forward to that. 
I said, he, Max is a very high-strung character, and I, I would like to go goblin mode sometimes. It is fun to go goblin mode. And that's going to give me a good opportunity to do that. You mother yucker. Huh? I've got to practice the haha. It's going to be the same every time. So let's refuel at the gas station real quick. This sale isn't going too bad, actually. I think we, we can definitely get into a good routine with this. Making that shmoney. I also like having a set car for this, too. This would make a, I'm just saying this would make a pretty decent clown car. There we go. I don't know what greetings or goodbye phrase I'd have. I feel like the haha -ha is good enough as like a signature. <laughs> it's your clown classy. Hey, hiccups, it's your clown classy. Haha. -ha. Oh, you've got to be yucking kidding me. Huh? Now I hope I get kidnapped by Bomb Bun during all that, so I have to keep up the voice. Oh, God, please, no! Don't shoot me for the love of God! Huh? Begging for my life, but still could be committed to the bit. That's what I'm all about, baby. I'm all about committing to the bit, so this is perfect. The clowns are committing to the bit incarnate. Their whole thing is committing to the bit. Honestly, I hope Clancy's soon now. I'm having too much fun brainstorming this. I'll try and throw in some cheese puns there too ever so often. You know, for the mouse part of it. Jeez, it, fellas, it's the cops. Let's see, that's up this way. We go to get out of here, huh? Keep it cheesy. It ain't easy being cheesy, huh? Actually, it's quite easy being cheesy. I don't know what all the fuss is about, huh? Skill issue, huh? Yeah, I, I think I could definitely do that voice for a, a long time, too, so that's perfect. I think the laugh breaks really add to it. I, I gotta keep that. Every sentence has to have a signature of the laugh. It's how he ends every sentence. Okay, I think it's this one here. Come on, be a juicer. 125? Okay, that's fine. Let's see. And... Hey, keep it cheesy. Huh? Why can't that stack? Oh, it's... Okay, fair enough. There we go. Let's roll. All right, that's all of them sold. The ones we had in us, at least. Oh, dear God, they're going to foreclose on the girl's house. Huh?
IRS took everything. Huh? My wife left me and took the kids. Huh? Classy's law is that he's been divorced three times. And he's lost every single custody battle. One day I want to play a character that has divorced energy. One day. Now, I want to say making the clown outfit for when we meet up with Ray and Sudi. But you don't know how badly I want to go make an outfit right now for it. But I think it's worth us waiting. Classy meets Barney St. Clair. Plot twist. We riz up Barney St. Clair. You're a freaking babe, Barney. Huh? Oh, Mad Max time. I will find my way to Valhalla, shiny and chrome. Huh? Yeah, no, no. It, it, it will still be Max. There's just a way for me to play Max a bit more unhinged. It, it's a very good lead into the criminal Max. I kind of like the idea of Max having different crime personas. Kind of like how April has um, a few different ones. With Classy being one of them. Uh-oh. Run over mimes with my Honda Civic 2003. Can't help being a Gemini. Huh? I think having personas of crime is just fun. Now there's no um, turbo in, in Buttercup. It just takes a bit to get to speed. We are new. I do love the style of this card. It's so cute. Okay, see, I, th I think we're pretty much set on that voice then. I I'm pretty set on that voice. We're going funny voice serious actions. Oh. Yep, I own this car. This is my moonshine selling car. The whole idea is they're meant to blend in with the locals. I'm trying to play the moonshine stuff smart. There we go. This is our new car, though. She's a beauty. Huh? Let's roll. I want to go check on the moonshine dude and see what my reputation's at now. It should be like four or five. Oh, you know, it, it will still be Max. Now, Max is going to, like, excuse his action saying it was classy that did it, because he is still classy. We're out of Mad Max Free Road now. Let's go check on the moonshine, dude. I'm going to shove the money in here quickly, just in case. Oh, boy. It definitely sounds like Clady's night went fun last night. 
I saw little glimpses of it. But it looked like it was pretty fun. Now you just gotta wait for the Clance Knight. Oh, we're at three still? Jesus. Okay. The Clades and the Clans. The Clentleman. Is that the name? I feel like Clans is better. I guess Clentleman is thematic too. Sweet. Okay, I'm not going to design the outfit right now, but I kind of want to go see what sort of makeup's available for clown stuff. Just to get an idea. Well, the thing is, Max already knows a lot of the clowns, so I think he will get along well with them. Hopefully getting some fun clown shenanigans. But well, still being Max as well. I'm not going to completely change Max's character just to be a clown. He's still going to be Max. Like, you know, he's still not going to want to hurt anyone. God, it's so foggy right now. Timothy absolutely adores this weather, by the way. Actually, headlights probably best to not have on right now. This is Timothy's favorite weather, this one. When the whole city's just covered in fog. I think Timothy's just a very big fan of horror games. And horror in general. And by Timothy, I mean Shoda. It is a nice vibe, to be honest. Oh, so let's go back to the classy music for now. Should be a barb shop just up here. How many cars do I own? About three. Obviously, there's work cars as well, but I don't count those. Oh. Alright, let's have a look-see. What? All right, let's go to another Ma Max outfit just while we do this. Let's go to the barista one. Let's have a look, see. Makeup. So what makeup we got? No, not that. Mm, that could work. Ooh. That's not bad. I want to try something. What if we make the first color like... Like maybe a blue? Like a... Blue, then secondary, a... Hmm. That isn't bad. What else we got? Oh, it's me. It's, it's Delver. Hello there. That's very clown-like. Ooh. Okay, that's not very clown-like, but that does look kind of cool. Not very clown-like, though. Let's see. I look like Smurf. Hmm. Oh, so this blue just looks pretty good in general. 
Though I like the idea of purple for royal purple. That's actually kind of a good shout. Let's try. Hmm. Purple is my favorite color too. Hmm. Ooh. God, there's a lot of makeup options, Jesus. Joker from Wish. Listen, every clown makeup's gonna look Joker-like, all right? There's not much you can do about that. That's just how it is. Hey, Death at 720, thanks for three months. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful Goblin and Max modes as always, Death Bear. Appreciate the support. Hmm. Let's try some of the first ones again. Honestly, I like this one so far. I think this is my favorite so far. Hey, an Ico! Thanks to give that sub. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful Goblin and Max modes. Courtesy of Ico. Appreciate the support. Yeah, probably maybe go for this one. I think this one works pretty well. Maybe throw on some lipstick as well. Let's see what other options are there. There's blush. Like a purple lipstick. Yeah, I think that'd work. Oh boy. Listen, you gotta take me seriously here. If you don't invest in your 401k right now, you're gonna regret it later in life, huh? Okay, yeah, so there's definitely some decent makeup to choose from. I think the purple, I, I do like the purple. We gotta go for a purple suit then, don't we? Okay, then we might be getting a bit too jokery. That's fine, I'm sure we could make it work. Maybe like a black suit with a purple tie. That actually look kind of nice. Maybe purple shoes too. I think we can definitely cook up a good outfit with this. Don't get too far ahead of myself though. Can't get too oh, too far ahead of myself right now. We gotta wait until we have the time with Sudi and Ray because I think it'll be more fun designing it with them. I do love me cooking up some outfits. Oh. Because there is Pete, some PD around. Let's go depot the money real quick. Yeah as, long, yeah, as long as we don't have any green, we should be fine. White and purple would be pretty good, though. Keep it very classy. The thing is as well with the Mickey voice is that I don't know if anyone will even recognize it as Max. I don't know if much of Max comes through with the Mickey voice. Like cadence and everything completely changes. Ooh, bow tie might be better than a tie actually. Everything good? Yep. All good. That definitely feels very classy. Oh. Jesus Christ, I've lost everything. Huh? I'm gonna be in jail for the next seven years. Oh dear God, I've lost it all. Huh? Sorry, I, the Mickey voice is just so much fun to do. I think we've definitely chose the right voice for this. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun using that voice. Hopefully it will suit the uh the outfit that we get ready for it well too. Let 
Now nah, we're gonna save the Mickey voice until we get the outfit. Then we'll throw it on them. But I'm pretty set on using the Mickey voice. So we get the money. See, all good, all good. I'm not sure if I've ever hit Ray with a Mickey voice either. I think you've hit, I've hit April and January with him. <laughs> Alright, so that, that's even more money that we now have for our pile. 6,000. That's a whole grind run right there. God, we need some better storage. Okay, what we're we going to do here? Where, where do I keep this $6,000? How much weight is it? Oh God, it's a lot of weight. Um, let's see. Oh God, I got so much. Okay, I can move some of this to the other crate now. Oh dear God. Move some of that. Oh God. We need a better system for this money too. Oh God, it's so much. It's so, so much. Oh dear God. Oh, I'm, I've got the best recipe available right now. It will improve. We've got to wait until there's another system open for the top shelf. <laughs> Throw that in there for now. Oh, God, what am I going to do with this? I, I guess I just got to keep track of it all. Move some of this in here. Okay, I'm going to move some of the other ones in here too. I should notice there's a four in there that I missed, damn it. <laughs> yeah, storage in general just needs some upgrades right now. Move these. Yeah, I hope there's more plans for the moonshine in the future. I only 16,000 in there, Jesus. Hopefully. I hope it isn't just like it starts here, ends here. I hope there's like an upgrade you can get. Because I mean, the best recipe you can get is average. There's got to be a way to get better than average and increase the proof of it too. There's just gotta be. You can move a few more in. And we could do a few more runs. Hmm. Like I said, I'm kind of running out of space for money. <laughs> Let's just separate. Actually, no, we could put it in there and separate it. We'll keep it separate to Timothy's. And if I go in here... Then maybe I put mine in the bottom right corner here. Yeah, that's good call. Cool. Actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to move this in. Okay, that's all of it. Yeah, weed is like super duper profitable. I feel like it's got to get nerfed at some point. Because literally every gang, every group is doing weed. No one's doing moonshine anymore. Like literally everyone stopped doing moonshine overnight. There's like maybe one or two people that do it anymore. The shine market crashed overnight. I still believe in it, though. Yeah, things I can see them instead of making it less profitable, maybe they'll make it so it's harder to grow it. Maybe that would be the balance with it. Boom. Ooh, notebook is definitely a good shout. Like an actual ledger. How much can I carry? There we go. Just organizing all my money so I know how much I've got. I know Ray's been keeping track of her money too. So how much have I got dirty? Ooh, I almost got 20,000 in dirty cash. Nice. 
And if we can get to 21,000, that'll allow Timothy to do a full run with it. Hmm. We could do a few more sales. Not much else going on with Max right now, so we could do a few more sales. We saw the PD was pretty busy too, so this could be a good opportunity. Also, is there a notebook in, in the house I could quickly oink? Yeah, I want to stick with Moonshine, mainly because it suits Max. Like, it, Moonshine just suits Max as a character. Both in terms of history and just like the general vibe of it. Let's see. Don't ask why we have 101 condoms. Anything else in here? Cringe. Okay, get rid of that. Back. Okay, let's open that again. My notebook. Ledger. Description. Totally not for illegal money. There we go. We're good criminals. We keep records of everything. Max. Nineteen. How much is it? It's like 19,000... Oh, wait, I can't put this in there because you can only put money in there. Damn it, that ruins the whole thing. There we go. So that's 19,460. 60. Dirty. Oh, yeah, we could just place it on it. That is true. Ah, oh, damn, it doesn't have a model. No, that kind of works. We're... Hold on. No, maybe. Let's try. I could have sworn this used to have a model. Maybe like down here instead. Perfect. Now, I should know. Anyone can come in and pick that up. I'm going to put it in here instead. Next to the gun. Nice. And we... Why is there a rock in here? Ah, yes. The ever-forementioned weed rock. Every weed seller has one. I mean, I guess you never know when it might come in useful. Sam Gas. Pet rock. I'm petting the rock. Pet, 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 pet. Good rock. All right, let's see what we got in terms of what we can move. Got a four, three, 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 six. How did I had to miss a six. Three, four, three, three, four. Okay, it's going to be a bit of a larger batch this time, but that's fine. Most of the rocks explode to death? Damn. We lost a lot in the rock war. Let's well, so go get a drink soon. Yeah, so let's go do some more moonshine. Screw it. It's been a quiet Saturday, and it is shining Saturday today. Let's go do some more shine. We're going to start making our way through all this. Nope, nope, got... Boy, Mushang Cowboy, yeehaw! Do do. All right, let's have a look. See. Oh, yeah, the house looks amazing. I'm very happy that we went for like an actual house more than like a gang hideout. Let's roll. 
Right back to Harmony. Yeah, we don't have the things. Other houses have better secret walls than us, but I like that ours isn't like that bad. It's literally just like one wall. That's it. Other people have like hidden like doors underneath carpets. They have like climbing over walls. Ours is a lot more simpler. Okay, careful here. And sick drift. Kind of sick drift. Could have been better. So I would still shine in this, but I like the whole undercover thing we've got going on. The initial thought the shower would be good as well, because like who's gonna go in some someone's shower? Then I forgot that April shows literally everyone that comes to the house the shower. The shower is a key part of the tour with April. But I think most people she's shown haven't noticed it, luckily. We've been very lucky in that regard. It could have been a lot worse. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Thread the needle. Uh oh. Almost thread the needle. I think the car was too wide there. I do love to new though. Yum. I am rolling around at the speed of sound. And it is true, I do got places to go, and I gotta follow my rainbow. Now we're in Mad Max zone. Okay, I probably should not speed as much here now. I'm keeping this color. I, I, I silly chose this color. Black and gold is just kind of Max's color at the moment. Though the gold looks a little bit off sometimes. For the most part, it's all right, though. Let's get to the location that we're going to start organizing. And I mean, they, they did, but I customized it. I took it to Moses afterwards. Yeah, I kind of wish that the strike was a little bit different, but it's still good. All right, let's see. Organization time. So number four. That is Harmony. Number three. Harmony again. Number three. That is Sandy. Which I'll... Hold on, let me move all these down a little bit. Sandy. This one is... Oh, so you can open it. Okay. That's Polito. 
That one is grape seed. We'll put that one there. We're going to move that around a little bit. This one is harmony again. That's going to be number one in harmony. That is sandy. That is harmony. Is that harmony? Yeah, that's harmony. Last stop in harmony. That is palito. This one, number six, that is Sandy. That one is Polito. Okay, this is actually a lot easier now that I know that you can actually open it with the map open. That is Polito. This one is Sandy. And this one is Sandy again. Damn, not many stomps in Grapeseed, I'm noticing. Okay, so let's see. This one is over there. This one is there. Is down there. Then that one is last. Okay, perfect. So we're going to start with number one, which is over this way. Let's roll. I got a turbo in it as well to make it like better with the acceleration. Oh, we can go local mode. And we're gonna go with the country music. Let's go. Okay, so that's the gas station, I'm pretty sure. That's up this way. Honestly, the sandstorm actually makes this a little bit easier. Oh, organization is key with Moonshine. I'm, I'm learning that very quickly. Organization is key. Excuse me, sir. Did you order some Moonshine? One thirty. Nice, nice, nice. The next one is at the grocery store. Yeah, I really want to get another storage though, because then our organization is going to be even better. That second storage is really going to help with the organization, because they're going to just do the organization from the get-go. Have... Polito and Grapes in one box, then Sandy and Harmony in another. They can do just like specifically Harmony runs, specifically Sandy runs. Let's see. I've got the mask, it just looks less suspicious without the mask. The mask looks too suspicious right now. Since I'm trying to be a local. Or look like a local on first glance. Boom. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. We ride. Alright, so I think the next one is just by the mechanic shop up here, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, it's the gas station there again. I remember that one. See, look, it, it's, it's a lot of the repeat ones. It just doesn't stack. I think my theory is correct. Which makes it even better when it comes to organization for us. Why organization is more important. They only stack if they're the same price and the same location. But it can be same location, different price. Here we go. And boom. 
The last one's by the quarry, right? Boom and boom. Nice. It feels good to be making money in ways that isn't grime. Let's see. Yeah, that's by the quarry. Quarry, then we head to Sandy, then Grapeseed, then Polito. Easy peasy. Then we've made through a decent chunk of this. I mean, I'd love to open up a saloon in Grapeseed. That's kind of one of Max's goals at the moment, if it's possible. I'd love to spend just in general more time up north. Do what I can to try and bring people up here. Maybe the weird thing for me, the biggest downside is the fact that like the locals attack you. If it wasn't for that, I'd be more inclined to use it, to, to try it. But Max is a very pacifist character, or at least doesn't do violence himself. Even if it is just a local. I try my best to try and treat locals like real people. Though sometimes, you know, when it's driving, I, it's different when you're driving. It's their fault when it's driving. Oh, I just got to check some real quick. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's just a notification saying about the closing of the signups. Yeah, locals can be super aggressive. They can blast you. They can like, you know, stab you. They call the police on you. Moonshine just in general suits Max's vibes a lot better. Let's see, where is this? Is this in the quarry? Oh, it's, it's one in the quarry. Let's see, we are a local. No one suspects a thing. I am a local. That, is he going to cause problems? Ah, ah. We good? Okay, we're good. Listen, me getting to fight with him can end badly. I ain't risking that. Uh, there, burner. Boom. Um. And boom, easy peasy. Right, so if I remember correctly, there's one cell spot here at the gas station up the way. Might head there first. Yeah, just up this way should be one. Then we'll kind of work our way around from there. It's a process, but it's good money. It's not the most money, but if you really get into the moonshine, it can be decent money. That, I think you got to remember that a thousand dollars is actually a lot of money in RP. It's just not a lot of money if you do, say, like grime and group six. Then it's like minuscule amount of money. But like compared to like PD pay, EMS pay, a thousand dollars is a lot of money. Let's see, so that one's in Sandy. In Sandy. In Sandy. In Sandy. Oh, it's by oh, it's over there. I know which door that is. I do enough grime to know that door. I can't see a goddamn thing. Hmm. 
No PD, no PD. Boom. Moonshine, moonshine, moonshine. 128. 156. Nice. <laughs> right, now we head into Sandy. Then we're going to organize the route that we're going to take once we get into Sandy. Thanks, I didn't need that sip, actually. My throat isn't actually feeling as bad anymore. At the beginning of the stream, my throat was feeling awful, but now it isn't too bad. It must have just been like, you know, dehydration or something. I could have sworn I drank a lot of water yesterday, though. Though I am someone that gets very easily distracted, too, so I could have just got very into things and forgot. I am very easily distracted. Okay, we're going to get to the gas station up here. And actually, no, let's organize here. This is a bit more out of the way. Okay, let's see. So this one is in the center, in the center, that way, and that way. Okay, so swap these two and that should be good. Okay, that's behind the store there. Then you move over there. Okay, yep, easy peasy, let's go. We move. Yeah, this is very Mad Max right now. I do like this, though. This isn't in base GTA this way. This is custom made. I know they were planning to add, like, a bunch of custom weather to 4.0, but so far, this is the only one that I've seen. I remember one of the trailers, there's, like, tornadoes and stuff like that. I hope one day we get to see that. I think tornadoes, if they do happen, should be extremely, extremely rare. Like, you know, it's a big event in the server when the tornado hits. Yeah, there's trailers for 4.0. There's like teaser trailers for the first, like two, three months prior. It's at that point when those trailers were being released, that's when like the population of the server dropped because everyone was waiting for 4.0. This should be on the NoPixel YouTube channel. <laughs> no way they're putting up mayoral posters at the weed spots. Really? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, so that's that door there. Oh, someone's pulling up. Um. Okay, it's a criminal. That's fine. Never suspect a thing. Is there any car here pull up? I'm worried there's PD. The fact that we almost got pulled up on yesterday by PD was, it was way too close. You know, there's a few teaser trailers for 4.0. A lot of it is to like the graphics in the cars, but there's a few other features too. I actually kind of want to go back and rewatch them and see how much is still left to come. Okay, right by the PD, a little bit risky, but that's fine. This is where Ray Romanov was doing his selling the other day. Hmm. 
I still think that we there's still a lot of 4.0 we haven't seen yet. There's still a lot to come. And I'm very much looking forward to it. I think when it comes to crime, crime is still pretty ba bare bones for the most part. I think crime is mainly what? Moonshine, weed, bit of roof run, a bit of car chopping. There's probably still a lot more to come. And the heist as well. Three point oh lasted about three years. The thing is with three point oh is that there wasn't any no there was no new updates for three point oh for about a year and a half. So in terms of updates being pushed out, it was active for about a year and a half. They basically stopped doing updates in preparation for four point oh. Oh, I could never forget the fishing. But I feel that with 4.0, I feel like this is going to be around for longer. But they're just going to update it more frequently. Think of it like a live service sort of situation with 4.0. I imagine 4.0 is going to last until GTA 6 RP takes off. That's what I think. Let's make our way over to last spot. I think gradual change is a good thing. I know it definitely is slow sometimes. There's definitely been periods of 3.0 where uh, 4.0 so far where it's definitely slowed down quite a bit with nothing new for a while. But the thing is, no pixel has an extremely cracked dev team. They're like constantly working on stuff. I think it's always worth the wait. Yeah, like, with, you know, constant updates sort of thing. Live service. Okay. This door? One twenty five, one twenty five. Oh, that's another moonshiner. All right, let's head over to Grape Seed. Making some good progress here. Yeah, and fishing as well. I can't wait for fishing. I feel like I'm hyping myself too much with the fishing, though. I gotta lower expectations. I think it'll be funny the way. Well, the thing is, in 3.0, there was actually some custom-made assets for the Funhouse. Like, the Chatterbox Mass used to actually be a model on the Funhouse for a while. And it used to shoot flames from it. So it is definitely possible. The assets are there. It's just to what extent are they going to be able to change it? Like, are they actually going to make it into a proper house where we can change the furniture? Like, what if they completely strip out the entirety of the fun house and make it like a house interior where you can put anything you want? But then they'd have to start from scratch, which definitely would be a headache. Because furniture ain't cheap. They probably wouldn't actually like that. Furniture really ain't cheap. And we're out of Mad Max Fury Road. Into Britain. I think it's with the, um, the Funhouse in 3.0 as well, is that the Funhouse wasn't like just for the clowns. There was a mechanic in there that criminals had to use called Grandma's. Where effectively, if a criminal wanted to revive their friend, they had to go there. Yeah, I don't know if they could afford that. Again, though, I'm happy to put some money towards it if they need some help. Or, you know, at least give them ways to make money. I think that might be better for them than just being given hand, you know, being handed the money. Like Ray. 
Ray doesn't like being handed money. She likes working for the money. I'm very much on the same page of her, with her there too. Because I hate owing people money. Or feeling like I owe someone. I'd much prefer if whatever is owed is done right there and then. Complete opposite to April, who, who wants the complete opposite. Raymond would never be a fool's. Then again, September kind of is like that too. Here we go. Then I'm interested to see what they're going to be able to get changed in the fun house. I think just Grapeseed in general could use some love. Just ways to bring more people up here. I still think like a... You know, some shops up here would do pretty decent. My worry about the houses going for sale up here is that they're just going to become like... People's grow houses and stuff like that. I think that's what a lot of the warehouse slash shops have become already. It's just like criminal operations. Wait, hold on. Wrong way. I like going off-road for this one. Get these last few cells done and then we'll be good. Made a decent dent in our moonshine supply. I think waiting for at least to like three to four stack is a good idea because that, that just makes it worth our while, worth the time. Ah, oh, but trying to get it all organized is going to be a pain. That's fine, we'll make it work. Let's just pick up the speed. You know, I have to just wait and see how things get changed. I hope at least they'll be able to wake up there. I think that'll be the best change. Being able to wake up or being able to change clothes. Both those would be good. I think maybe being able to put down like furniture and stuff might be a bit too much. I don't know how they'd do that dev-wise. The only way I can see them doing that dev-wise is if they turn it into like an actual house and strip everything from the inside. Like, you know, I can't see them being able to put down like weed planters and stuff like that or washing machines. Not that I really think they'd want to do that either. Okay, we're back to Mad Max. And back to Britain. Oh yeah, parking would be good too. I mean, does Chatterbox even own a car though? I think Chatterbox prefers to steal cars. <gasps> it's me. Right now we head off road. Going for both for one dollar. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe some parking. Or just parking in Grapeseed would be good. At the moment, the only parking up north is Polito and Harmony. I don't even think there's one in Sandy. Come on, Buttercup. Almost there. There we go. The only thing is, I, I do wonder how much it's going to cost them. And not that, uh, not only the cost, initial cost, but like upkeep costs too, if that's going to be a thing. I know the clowns aren't very big on grinding out money. And unfortunately, the only way to get money for the most part is by grinding in some sort. That's just how it is.
So be interesting to see. Hopefully it won't be too too much. The thing is, I don't think weed is pretty grindy though, isn't it? Like both the production and the selling. It can get pretty grindy. I can't see Channelbox sitting on the side of the street selling weed all day. Just doesn't seem his sort of vibe. Like, Chani's all about, like, causing chaos and messing with people, right? There's not much you can do with that when it comes to the weed. Like, unless you're doing it in a very public area like Grove, PD probably won't even come over to you. Alright, let's see. Let's park up somewhere over here and we'll get the organization going. Let's see. How many do I have to sell? Let's set ourselves a decent area. Alright, so... Three is there. Three is there. Three is there. And four is... There. Okay, so we just swap these two around. Let's go. So being able to see the map actually makes it so much easier. That's with perfect partner for her. Well, Sudi is married, you guys got to remember. Max's crush of Sudi is an old crush because she is married. Max ain't going to be a homebreaker. Now, she's pretty happily married from Max's understanding. But Max and Sudi are just in general good friends. Yes, yeah, not Max. It's classy. There we go. But she's either married or she's had a boyfriend for a very long time. Now, they've been together since, like, pretty much, like, pretty far into 4.0, 3.0, I'm pretty sure. Hang on, we'll just see where the RP goes. So where's this one? Let's just down the side here. What the heck? Is that like inside? Kiss, marry, kill doesn't count for that. That door? I guess that is that door. There we go. That doesn't mean that is going to be the case. It's just so like if that was the options, that'd be the case. Definitely not surprised that Ray brought that up, though. That is not a surprise. Listen, I'm not stirring with Chatty and Ray. Ray, Ray better not stir with me. And Max being one of the few people that isn't going to stir with that relationship. Surely Ray would never stir, right? Surely. Never, never, never. 
Have a relationship about being 4.0? Oh, probably, yeah. But usually it's got to be like someone I'm comfortable doing it with, you know? Because basically RP can get very messy. Nobody's safe from the stir. <sighs> Max is in a house full of stirrers and he is just a simple pot. I see the door. Is that PD officer? Nothing but good. Last one. Yeah, for me, the way that I like to do relationship RP and what I've done in the past on previous servers is basically we don't do any of the sort of relationship stuff in in RP, but we give each other permission to power game each other of what they do like, like what dates they do go on. Now, we don't do any of the dates actually in RP, but we OOC make updates that they've been on and we agree like to power game each other with it. That we've got to go along with whatever the other person says. It's a good exercise in the yes and nature of RP. I think it's more fun that way. Like, I, I don't really want to do sort of like dates in RP. I think that's a little bit, that, that's when it gets a little bit too much for me is when it's like dates in RP. But power gaming friends is always fun. Hang on, see how things go. Max is too busy building his moonshine empire right now. I need to get myself a Jesse. I really want Eli to beat my Jesse so bad. Just because I know Ellen would love, uh, he would really lean into that. If I specifically phrase it that way. I can see him definitely leaning into that. Well, Max's ultimate love is the Lady of the Lake, of course. Eli would definitely bring in the spice, is what I need. I need that spice sometimes. They all always will be Max's home. One day, I hope Max is able to reclaim the Liquid Library in some way. The fact that State took that away from him, away from him, is like a big part of the criminal arc. His home was taken away by the State. Now he pushes moonshine. Now he's gonna kill every cop that he sees. Hell week. Heaven week. I think, isn't Eli supposed to have a clown day at some point? Or has that already happened? I remember him mentioning that he's going to have one with Twinkles at one point. Ooh. You know what would be a really good way for Chatterbox to make some money? What if he was a teacher at the next Criminal Academia? Because there's meant to be a season two, right? He would make an amazing criminal teacher. That would be the day that everyone in that class would get a felony. And you know, I'm pretty sure the teachers do get paid too. And 
and if the uh the relationship is still going they could do like a ray and chatterbox lesson together Oop. big brain I'd love to see all the outfits people would make for that day too. Everyone would 100% dress up as clowns. The send in the clowns lesson. Okay, I gotta be very careful here because I cannot see a thing in front of me. Clowning around 101. <laughs> Honestly, I'm really surprised that none of the lessons got people felonies in the class. I generally thought that'd be a part of it. Like, getting a felony. I know they got pretty close in Dundee's class. Imagine if that was the only way that you could graduate. Is by getting a felony. I mean, it is criminal school, you know. I think the only two people that would have affected, though, would be January and Lossie, since they were still G6 drivers. I mean, they still are now. Is it April ever get paid for her teaching? I can't remember. I feel like a lot of people owe April money. She just doesn't follow up on him. Hopefully her kitty's been saving up a lot of money. The heist thing fell apart with the HQ changes. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Maybe there's still some way they can make it work. I mean, January's already been on a few heists, right? I think January's probably... In the G6 group, I'd say January's probably the one, like, most willing to get a felony now and lose G6. Did she ever buy any vehicles? I feel like that's the biggest risk in losing G6 is if you own any of the vehicles. Otherwise, you're kind of fine. You're not really losing money there. Also, sick drift. Poor Rocco. Ah, poor Rocco. April hasn't collected in well over a week at this point. Her kitty's starving and she's doing nothing about it. I'm looking forward to meeting October Foos. I I'm interested to see how Ray's going to play her. I could see her having fun trying to make money the way that April makes money. Basically, like the complete opposite way that she makes money on Ray. I'm very interested to see how that's going to work out. Here we go. Alright, let's have a look. See. So how much we get from that? We've got like another 6,000. Nice. That's what, $12,000 in dirty money that we've made so far today? That That's not bad. 
Again, grime kind of gives you an overinflated sense of what is like lots of money and what isn't much money. Like 12,000 in one day, that's like a 12 hour shift for a police officer. Actually, no, that's like a 24 hour shift for a police officer. That's some good money. There we go. So we're at 25.5 now. Okay. There we go. Cyril Cheetah money hungry like April. Oh God. That's going to cause a lot of spice. 25,595. 25,000. 25,95. There we go. Nice. That's 25k that we have just in here right now. Let me try and move some more of the moonshine back over to this storage too. Now, does October move into the house is the question. Nah, I think that might be a bit too much. I can imagine for the most part, Ray will want to like try and not be around the same people she's around on Ray. I think that'd probably be better for her too. She probably won't be living at the house. Eh. I don't think she'd have as much fun on the character if she was just like, you know, still hanging out with Max, still hanging out with April, still hanging out with like Kitty and Gigi. Yeah, I think it'd be more fun to change things up. I am looking forward to meeting her though. October is the foos that Max goes out with and then instantly gets cheated on. <laughs> Perfect. Max needs that heartbreak. It's good character development. We need our Ralph Wiggum moment. You can pause on screen exactly where his heart breaks. Let's see. So it's mainly twos and ones left in here for now. Is there any more bottles that are going to move over? We actually, we actually got through a decent amount today. Let's see. Was there any more? <laughs> Is there 76 condoms in there? I've got so many condoms laying about the house right now. <laughs> 76 here, 101 upstairs. Damn. I right, Max would definitely like that energy. I said, I think the relationships that, I, that would be the most fun to have on Max would, would be with people that are like completely different to Max. I think that's what kind of makes relationship, like, what can make relationship RP fun is when it's like with someone completely different energy. Like an odd couple situation. I think that's the most fun to work with. Again, like Max and Jaeger. Complete opposites to one another. But I think it would make a funny relationship. Let's see. Is there any more I've got to move about right now? Let's see. I think that's, I've moved most of it now, haven't I? I'm very yin and yang. Oh, I'd love the spice that would come with a Jaeger Max relationship. It'd be so much fun. Okay, so I've moved all the moonshine back to this storage now. So in this storage is all the moonshine we have. Okay, that's good. So we've got to get the other storage to help with the organization. 
Honestly, with it like this is going to be a lot easier to organize. Any furniture? Let me text Martha. Hey, Martha. Store, storage for sale. Let's see. You know, I think those are the sort of relationship RPs that are fun. Is when it is like opposing sort of energies. At least that's what is fun for me. I think the dynamic is just a lot more fun. Hello, Martha. Hello there. Uh, yes, there is storage uh, for sale. Uh, what is on offer? Let me have a look. Uh, specifically looking for a large crate, see if you've got any in stock. Hang on a second. Right, okay then. Looking at this, we have um, reinforced crates. Is that what you're looking for? Uh, There's large crates, yeah. Large crates, uh, large boxes, furniture boxes. So yeah, if it's a large crate and, and that's what it, what it is. Um, yes, I, I have a list here. I'm actually working for Windsong. She is oh, actually okay. in, in the lemon list. Um, um, she's an up-and-coming uh, business, and she's ever so, ever so nice. I don't know if you've ever spoke to her. Oh, yeah, I know Winsong. Yeah, uh, she's lovely. So um, I'm working with her at the moment doing promotion for her, and oh. I've got their price list, and she definitely does have um, she does have the, the, the large crates. Oh, so okay. How much is it? Um, I mean, for, she's, she's looking at 8,000 at the moment. Oh, that's pretty good. Pretty good, right? Okay, then. I think they're undercutting a couple of the companies. So if you if you want to, I think it's best if you cut me out for now and and go straight to her through the lemon list. All right, I'll give her a ring. Yeah. Okay, then. All right, Max. Thank you. Let her know that you called me. Oh, we'll do. We'll do. <laughs> because we want to know that it's working. Okay. Oh, I do. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Max. All right. Your treasure. Okay. All right. Catch okay, you in a bit. Bye. Bye. Win. Nope. Uh, a wind song. There we go. Hey. Hey, wind song. How you doing? Good. How are you? Uh, doing good. Doing good. I, I was just talking to Martha. She said that you might have some large crates in stock. Um, I don't have any in stock, but I can put in an order. Oh, yes. I, could I put an order for one? Yeah, yeah. There are 8,000. Yep, that's completely fine. I'm a little backed up on those right now. I'm trying to find a wood guy to get some high quality wood off of. Oh, right, okay. Around right now. So as soon as like I got a wood guy awake, then I can start pumping him out. Oh, perfect. Yeah, no, no. I, I put me down for one. All right, man. I got you down for one large crate. Easy. All right. I'll let you know when it's ready. I'll call you, and if uh, I don't get through, I'll send you a text. All right, sounds good. Right on, man. Right on. See you around. Catch you in a bit. Bye. Bye. Easy. Max would marry all of them. Polygamy. Right, let's see. So how, what have I got in here, then? So we've got the lockpick. But why do I have a bullet casing? Who's storing a bullet casing in here right now? Okay, fair enough. This gun- I'm surprised we haven't lost this gun yet. Timothy keeps taking these- hit this gun on money runs. I'm surprised he hasn't been caught just yet. That he's probably used this gun more than eight- more than, uh, Ray has. Hey, it's still there, still going strong. I mean, it's just one gun anyway. Well, from what he told me, Ray's given him permission to use it. 
I was concerned the first time I saw it missing. I, I did ask him about it. And he did say that he got permission because I was very worried to begin with. Because that, in Max's mind initially, that gun is there for Ray's safety. So if he loses it, then Ray's in danger. But he assured me that he had already talked to Ray. Has 300 bullets? Nice. That's one large magazine. It's got one of those drum magazines on it. And let's put some condoms in here too. You never know. You got There's two ways to keep safe in here right now. You gotta have options, you know? I saw what these baskets doing. 3,000, let me top that up. Boom. It's definitely been a good moonshine selling day today. Boom. There we go. Yeah, I think what we have is... I think it holds, like, what, 10 bullets? I'll say the gun because bodies on him, but I do think you listen to that part. Eh, it's Timothy's risk to take. Max ain't gonna meddle in that. Max meddles a little bit too much sometimes. He's just gonna leave things to let things happen. Let me just check how things go in here. You just gotta let the RP play out. See how it goes. Boom. Timothy is pretty careful with it. He, he's good at the money runs right now. As far as I'm aware, he's never had any sort of issue. Not bad at all. Also, I don't think anyone's noticed the rat that I've left on the bed there. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave that there until someone notices. Surely people use the house and use the bed, right? Surely they're bound to notice. He's just sleeping. He's just having a little kip. Oh, looking at this just kind of makes me miss the plus one-offs me and April used to have. I hope we have another one sometime soon. I miss off. Have we even, like, used this better tool with Max and April? I don't think we have yet. We need to use the new bed. There's plenty of room for us now. There's no more issues of, like, feet in other people's faces. Plenty of space. She saw the rat when the house is loading in. Oh, right. <laughs> Listen, I just had a bunch of rats on me. I handed them to people at the coffee shop as tips. Just double check and there is nothing over here. Nope. All good. Alrighty. Easy peasy. Okay, well, I think I'm going to call it there for tonight. I had a good productive day today. I'm going to sleep next to the rat. I said my throat was feeling a bit rough at the beginning of the stream. It's better now, but I don't want to risk it. So I want to just kind of take it easy. But today was productive and I'm happy about that. We're actually making some decent progress in the moonshine now. Once we get that organization like down to a T, we're going to be super efficient with it. Not to mention the fact that once we get the... um. What's it called? Once we get, like, Eli involved in it as well, it's going to be even, even more productive. But, yeah. I'm going to call it there for tonight. I'm going to go chill for a bit, rest my voice just a tad bit. And I will be back on Monday. Monday? Yeah, Monday. For more good old Max, as always. In the meantime, I'm going to send you guys over to real. Let's see, let's see. I'm going to send you guys over to... Ooh, Crystalis. I'll send you guys over to Crystalis, who plays the ever-so-cool swan. She's so goddamn cool. Go say... Oh, hold on. I'm, wait, hold, there we go. There we go. Go say hello from me, and I will catch you guys on Monday for some more good old Max time, as always. Till then... I hope y'all have a lovely rest of your night. And remember, Smith?